All the way real DVD. We shooting that Tyree Evans documentary. You know, tell us, everybody out there on the world, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear Tyree? The best athlete in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Football and basketball. There it go again. Yeah, I'm Evans Coach Jack. I've been coaching this guy since he was goddamn 13. Yeah, you have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of. He, he, he the real deal. Yeah. I coach over at John Marshall now, and I told the kids, I never seen a guy they can miss three days of practice and get you four touchdowns in a game. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Ballin' in VA, and today I know, I know I got another classic, for sure. Today, man, I got my man Tyree Evans here with Weezy Wee, Wayne Gregory, and for all them 757 people, you know I got to do this, because Weezy always mess with me when I do it. Yeah, this the guy that y'all be forgetting about. <laughs> y'all act like y'all forget about. Yeah, he broke Chuck record, single season scoring record. It won't just Mac McClunk. It was this dude right here. Look it up. Cause I be arguing with y'all all the time. So yeah, I'm starting the video off like that. So <laughs> that's just how we gonna do it today, man. Yeah, I, I be I be hollering like, what about Tyree? What about Tyree? Well, I got him here today and we're gonna set some stuff straight. Man, I appreciate y'all coming out, man. Yes, Tyree Weezy, thank you, man. So what's been going on? Appreciate you, man. You know, we always talk from the um love day. You know, I just came to give you a shout out and you know, give a people give people a little insight about what they don't really know. Yeah, they don't know. <laughs> yeah, he got the whiff jersey on today. Y'all see that, right? So he he, he let y'all know he was ready today. I won't <laughs> expect in that. But yeah, man, where did it all start, Re? You know, we know that to me, I remember the other day you was on live. We was live together mm -hmm. on Instagram and you said do you think you was a goat? Do people think you was a goat? Right. Well, I know what Weezy gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I know we Weezy gonna tell it like it is. My personal opinion, I say yes. And when I met Weezy, I was um, we was you know because you was coaching my son for Richmond Elite with Dingo team, mm -hmm. and I had it in my phone, and you didn't know, I didn't know that you and Tyree knew each other. I was just like. Man, I don't know how we was talking. And I was just like, man, Tyree was this, Tyree was that. And he was like, that's my God, brother, man. That's my God, brother. I was like, for real. I said, he got my phone. And you seen all them pictures and everything I had in my mm -hmm. phone. I said, no, I'm like a reporter without being a reporter. Yeah. And I was like, I was at work. People would come to me at work. Hey, when Tyree done play again, I was like, hey, schedule right here. That's when I work at that Bank of America. And I was just like, man, I said, if I ever get a chance to meet him, I'm going to let him know. And... I just be arguing with these 757 people all the time, man. <laughs> I don't know why. And I just wish that you could have, y'all could have met against Woodside, which we'll talk about that a little later. But um, let's start from the beginning, man. Beginning. Yeah, where did it all start? Southside? Southside. You know, Southside. I know it had to start somewhere, man. Southside. Put that ball in your hand. Southside, Melodian Village. Um, My brother, Ronte, and um, my uncle, Keith. Okay. Just playing around always. Around the um the hood and and for real playing with the older guys. Okay. I started off playing football, and I used to always play with the older dudes and get tackled and cry. But then I come back. But well, it started I can see from, that though. It started from Malothan Village. Okay. So you know, so when you was out there playing with those guys and stuff like that, was it just like? Everybody out there, man, and you just kind of, kind of force your way out there. Or you were just little dude out there watching everybody else and kind of found your your way. I was the little dude out there forcing myself, <laughs> <laughs> saying I can play with them. I remember it was um, who it was a guy named Abdul, Zach, um, um, Calvin, uh, J Love, RP J Love. Um, mm -hmm. Jesse, Rab, all Bubba, of them. All them. Yeah, all you, them. Ain't, you end up naming the whole Ville. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I named the whole Ville. Hey, dude, yeah, you can do that, man. Shout out to all them guys, shout man. Out to Ville, man. Sh yeah, shout out Mr. Mr. Presley. Okay. One of the guys. Had a, like, he did base, baseball in the organization, in the community, and we always just played baseball, too. Okay. Yep. Well, I know you was a hell of an athlete because I heard you was nice with that uh, football too, man. You know, wide receiver, I think, right? Wide receiver, cornerback, 
Yeah. I started off playing um quarterback. Oh, for real? With, um Nuttall. That's how Nuttall got uh, his name. From damn um Westover. Westover. Um, Westover. Okay. Everybody wanted to play with Westover. Nuttall got his name from uh, Westover. See, I only know him from yeah. damn Bell Me. Nah. Know? So I'm late in the game. Yep. Man, so what you which sport did you like the most? Was it football or basketball? At the time it was football. Okay. I ain't find my way into basketball maybe 10, 11. I was with Coach Jack. I played with Coach Jack at maybe 9, 10. Come on, Dillard. Nah, nah oh, Jack oh. Dempsey. Oh, Dempsey. He used okay. to pick up me, Jesse, Taj, all us. He kept us all together. Okay. We ended up playing rec league. We didn't go to middle school mm -hmm. together, but then um, church lead, and then we ended up doing a little weather for AAU team with the church lead, and <clears throat> like, and we just expanded and we grew up and we came out went to high school together for real. Okay, where you went? Where you went to middle school at? Y'all went to Thompson. Bouchard? Thompson. Thompson. I already said Bouchard because you know <laughs> I said I went to Henderson. Man, we was winning them chips over there. Well, they was winning them chips over there. I just say that. My first for real organized basketball was I played rec. It was different. I played, but when I got to Thompson, mm -hmm. Coach Jenkins. He seen me and he was a um, he was a gym teacher. He seen me in there almost dunking the ball, seventh grade, shooting the ball. Mm -hmm. They ended up. He was like, "Why you ain't try out for the team?" I was like, "I don't know. I'm gonna just I'm, I'm gonna play with Coach Jack, you know, Coach Jack, and I'm gonna play church lead and rec." He like, "I'm gonna play middle school. You should try out." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "All right." But the next year, mm -hmm. I came and tried out. Eighth grade or um, seventh grade. Okay, and. Once I made the team, he was like, how are your grades? I said, they okay. <laughs> I'll help you with your schoolwork. I'll you know, be a tool to you if you just play basketball. Hmm. So him just watching you in the gym. Yeah. And whatever he saw in you just encouraged you to play. Just encouraged me to play. He motivated me to play school ball. Because I was just playing rec. I was just okay. playing with my friends, playing rec, mm -hmm. church league, okay. little AAU, little get-together AAU And that was Westover and stuff like yep. that. So I, I'm, I'm I'm just like, see, this is I ain't never hear all this. So I'm like, so you get to Thompson and you play there. So tell us about that season if you can remember. My first year. Because everybody got some we, humble beginnings. We did. My first year we did pretty good. I even averaged probably about 20-something. Mm -hmm. Cause I was already like six feet in like seventh grade. Okay. Like at least five eleven, almost dunking the ball. Okay. We um, our arch rivals was Elcott. Yeah. My first, my seventh grade year. Elcott won one year. I won one year. I mean, we won one game. They won one game. Okay. And Green was on that team with Elcott, and then we met Henderson in the playoffs. This was a humble, humbling moment for me. Okay. Play Henderson, the twins. Um, I know who you talk about. Achman and um, I can't. I, really, I heard of I, them. I, yeah. I, I can't round. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna get to say no know. crazy names. A shout out to them. I, I know hey, who you talk about. They was all, me. Hey, look, no lie. I think they was in eighth. We go play at Henderson. Okay. They was like my height, and they had a little size on them. Mm -hmm. It was two of them. So, we play against them. Man, they beat us. They beat us. I ain't gonna say they beat us bad, but they won by like ten. Okay, there's the playoffs. Yeah, and after that, I don't like to lose, so I'm like, you know what? Next year I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna win that. Okay. But I always remember them too when they played for Squires. Okay. Long story. We'll get into. Yeah, that. yeah, we gonna get into that. I, yeah. I need all that. We lost. Come back next year. I'm playing. Um, going into the eighth grade year, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm playing with Coach Scott AAU now. It's me and Green. It's a couple guys. I'm playing up, playing silver, though. Okay. I ain't playing gold. It was Metro Gold, Metro Silver. I was just playing with yeah, friends. back in the school. day when it was for real Coach AAU. A, um, Avery, mm -hmm. Avery Scott, his daddy, Angus Scott, we played on his team. But going into practice, trials, I see Humpy Green. I'm like, <laughs> who is this? Shout out to Humpy. Don't for, and on top of that, Squires came to my house that summer. Mm -hmm. Came to my house, offered me all types of shoes, and that's you know just yeah. you know trying to get me to come. I went to a practice there. I give it to Squires. They'll come find you. Matter of fact, all right, 
that summer, Squires came to my house. Okay. I don't know how they found me. But I went to a practice. It was Boom Bali. It was it was a it was a couple of guys. I know Boom Bali, Vernon Hamilton, a couple other guys. Okay. Can't remember. Just shout out to them, man. But um I went to a practice and I went there. I did good, but I ain't really like how they was put pressure on me to try to come play. Right. So Yeah, they'll do that too. But no fast respect. forward going into eighth grade our trials, I see Humpy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Coach Jenkins like because Coach Jenkins built a relationship with me because I was always, I was, as a kid, me not knowing my father, I was always like not taking too, you know, I got a bill, I got a bill with you to get comfortable. So yeah. Coach Jenkins come over there like, but well, this guy over here, his name Humpy Coach Green. Coach Metro Gold, mm-hmm. um, eighth grade, fourteen. He was like, he wants you to, he, he want to um, talk to you at the at the practice. I was like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. After we practice, whatever. Fast forward. Humpy was like, man, I want you on my team. We missing a piece like you. We go to the, you know, I've been coaching my team since we, they was eleven. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'll play if he coach with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. After that, and who was so somebody else was coaching the team. Humpy Green was Humpy coaching, coaching the, the team, coach. but somebody else. But coach I asked with him, can, he, can Coach, coach, coach Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins come with, come with you? Yeah. Okay. Wow. And that's how that happened, and that worked out. And that's how we end up. Me, Thomas Ingram, um, B Henny, um, who else was on that team? Jamal Green. Who else was on? Y Hicks, Maurice Reeve. It was a lot of us on. Um, Janard, okay. L.C. Baker. They came on later. Later, okay. Because they couldn't beat us with squires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> L.C., I remember him from Armstrong. But, yeah. Bang. So, that eighth grade year. So, this is that summer going to the eighth grade that year. summer going to the eighth grade. And so, you come back the eighth grade year at Thompson for playing, I guess, you know, throughout the summer. We went 8-0 at Thompson. Won okay. the championship. Yeah, I won the championship. Then I started playing with Metro Gold with Humpy and them. Okay. And we go to the Nationals and I think we placed like maybe like eighth in the nation. Okay. That's that's pretty good. And that one year, Tony Douglas, his son Harry Douglas played for Atlanta Falcons. Yeah. Other son Tony Douglas played for the Knicks and stuff. He okay. went to Al- Albany University. Okay. It was called um, Atlanta Prep Stars. Okay. That was his AAU team, but he did a he did a um, ranking bracket. Okay. And after that national, that national, matter of fact, or wine, Bob Givens, we won that. We beat Squires. Then we went to UNC. Mm-hmm. Then we won the championship in UNC going to 14. Then going to the Nationals, I meet them, and we play them. And I hit, like, two half-court shots, like, like first quarter, then a the halftime or something like that. But after that game, after we beat them, he ranked me at – that he did the ranking book. I was number one. He put me number one. For real? The, I did not know that. In the country. Weezy, you knew that? No, not that part. Yeah. yeah. I didn't but know he that. had put me – Number one in the country in his right in his bracket thing he did. Wow. And and it was some tough people in my class. That's when I first played against, like I said, Tony Douglas. I played against Darius Washington. I ran mm-hmm. across Sebastian Telfer. I ran across Rudy Gay. I ran across Big Baby Davis and Tyrus Thomas and um LSU boys. Um ran across Sean Williams, the boys from Memphis. Mm-hmm. Ran across um um, um, Marquise Cook from Boo Williams. Boo Williams they ain't yeah. never beat us neither. <laughs> um, it's funny how the boys um, always say when they beat somebody. Like nah, they ain't never here. beat Boo. It'd it be so funny. Um, Boo would admit that, but Boo admit that's yeah. why he tried to get me to play on his AAU team to go to the Nike camps, but I played up. I couldn't play with my age. I couldn't play against my age with my guys. Okay, but I did play up though. Wow. But um, long story short. I did pretty good in my first national platform on AAU. I would say AAU so service. too. I did pretty well. And after that, it just took off. Took off. And then after that year was over, mm-hmm. people don't know why I don't have the 
top scoring record because I ain't played the first semester at Will. I was at Mount oh. Zion. Mm -hmm. I went to Mount Zion with I, um, I didn't know that. For football and basketball. And my basketball teammates was Jerry Jack and Amar Stoudemire. Oh Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, see, I ain't hear about this either. See, a lot of people don't all right, so I'm about to, I'm about to jump on Weezy, man, because you're supposed to tell me some of this stuff, man. You know, no, I know about the Mount Zion. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I know about the Mount Zion. Man, I did not know that. Yep, my um, just to get me out of the environment, I went mm -hmm. to Mount Zion Christian School. I was yeah. dressed up every day. How you like that? It was, it was rough for a minute. Coming out of Southside, yeah. Coming from Tump, out of middle school as a kid, fourteen, going into your fifteens, and you go to a Christian school in high school. Your first high school is a Christian school, yeah, and all structured and everything, yeah, and stuff like that. It was oh. it was tough. Yeah, I'm sure it was. And then you all the state and all of that stuff, yep. man. Oh, yep, it was tough. I played football. Matter of fact, my football teammates was. Um, Mickelberry from Orana. You might have heard of I him. I think I heard of him. Mickelberry. Um what's the running back play for um Orana? Lamar, um, what number seven? Um I'm trying to figure out what year is this. He played with um he played with Mike Robb too. Lamar, um seven. I told that was around sports, David. It was around that. Late nineties, I know I was out of pocket, but I was picking up the paper, but I can't remember. There's a couple of guys that was from um Richmond who okay. played football. Okay. That went to Mel Zion. Yeah. But yeah, I ended up playing football as my main sport for this, but I was a freshman playing, you know, as see a marsh out of my jersey. I was playing varsity, but I won't play prep. Okay. But okay. After I was scoring thirty points, twenty points, they moved me up. Mm. And by the time they moved me up, I was about to play my first game with them. Mm -hmm. But the pastor, something happened with the pastor. All the underclassmen had to leave. Second semester. Wow. Yeah. So then that's when you came back. I came back. And everybody was trying to get me, Mac Fee trying to get me to come play football. Then um, with, I'm like, this is a no brainer. I'm going to with. Yeah, you yeah you gonna stay loyal. To that. You, you ain't doing that, especially from the VL. You yeah, ain't doing that. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> but hey, I know that. But yeah, after that, when I got back, it was like in the middle of the season. I probably missed like thirteen games, maybe. Mm -hmm. Cause when I came back, I probably played about twelve. Okay, cause you came out in '04, so this got to be what '01. No, this is uh, 2000. 2000. 2000. Okay, 2000. Cause that's the run. Like Luke Monum came out in '99, yep. mm -hmm. and then the right 2000 teams. It was right after that. And you, and you know what I, I'm about to say? We was talking about that today at the gym. And Weezy, you, you, I need you to help me out with this too. I'm gonna ask both of y'all: How many state championships Whiff should have had? In oh. y'all personal opinion, we know from mine. I say two. I say too, as well from your for time. me. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can, I wouldn't even go back to, I mean, we could, but. Yeah, we can go back, but more more than what they have. Yeah, yeah, because you know, a lot of times you get these young guys, man, they think, you know, not trying to, you know, say direct to anybody, you know, Malik White or anybody like that. Just, I'm not gonna talk to them, but yeah. you hear about, you be the first one that went in that school and they think, okay, we the best team. And I'm like, I know teams that ain't even won. They know that though. Right, right. Yeah. So that was saying speaking of them, but man, it's it's almost like how you hear the 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 Jordans and the Bacalis compare their generation to this generation. Right. As far as back then, more physical defense. Right. Even with the NFL, more physical, Lawrence Taylor, Sean right. Taylor. You know, Dion put your hands on them. Right. To this generation, you can't touch them, you can't jam them. NBA, you can't touch them, you can't do none of that stuff. So you think about with, with that analogy to how VHSL switched up the divisions and all this stuff to ensure different things, the politics. Right. So, you know, anytime you have four state champions or two state champions within five miles of each other, mm -hmm. it, it lets you know that it was a, you know, it, you know, because back then, you know, they had to go. Henrico, Verona, like Henrico, Highland Springs, John Marshall, John, like they had to come out the region, right, yeah. just to get, just to, to get point. to, you know, to that point. But now you got all these guys playing 
man. Class five. Yeah, yeah playing like in that. the country. And, <laughs> well, you know. I would have had four then. Yeah, he probably, had four. Yeah, yeah probably yeah. average 40. Four, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Easy. Easy. <laughs> like, you know, and it's no disrespect. <laughs> right. It's no disrespect, but it's like, you know, let's keep stuff in context. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Like, we can't never just talk about stuff without putting it in its proper perspective. That's right. Let's keep stuff in context. And that's that's my take on it because, you know, it's, it's no way Wiff and Henrico should be state champions in the same year. Right, right. Because I know. talked to Tim Jones. Tim Jones was on live last week. And I, he happened to see me, like how you saw me, and was like, hey, man, why you ain't got Henrico boys on there? What's, what's up with you, man? And, you know, we was the first to win the state championship around there. I said, no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> and Ray Hood was on there. Ray Hood was like, my man. Like, I said, dude. You you were not the first that went around here. I don't know what you don't know or you smoking something. I don't know what nah, it was, but it's, like they don't understand the history. Right, you got to go back to the history, man. I say in my time in '94, Meadowbrook won the championship and they won that on a technicality because Iverson was in jail. Mm -hmm. They won in '93 right. and mm -hmm. then Chuck got locked up the next year mm -hmm. and Tony Rutland was by himself. Mm -hmm. Y'all won't beat them. Mm -hmm. No disrespect, no, but y'all won't no. beat them. Mm -hmm. So then you go back from oh from from oh from ninety four down, yeah. Until when you know everybody was talking about how Wiff was the favorites and John Ma well John Marshall really with Keechwan and all mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. after Smiley reading them didn't get yeah. it in ninety three where they lost to Chuck mm -hmm. and then it comes down to the Wiff and John Marshall was a couple teams then you had Hoggett you yeah, know with yeah, the Hollis Springs team yeah yeah so. Yeah. I'm just like, come on, man. It seems that lost the championship or didn't even make it. That was just better than that was so, just. <laughs> I got to put that out there. So y'all know y'all be watching it, but stop the bullshit, okay? Mm -hmm. Stop and it. And Wiff would have knocked Henrico off that, no, right. we, we that year. Been, we would have beat them. If we would have, like, yeah. any, I, no disrespect. Yeah. Anybody in that era with me, Jesse Taj, and, and that year or whatever, even my senior year. Yeah, senior year. We would have yeah. still beat them back. Yeah. Senior, right, better. yeah. And don't, it, yeah. They, them boys was tough, but it, it's a different rule. It's a different, it's different, mindset. different mindset, man. Yeah. And I'm like, y'all won, but y'all beat a John Marshall team that won't that good. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. Y'all want to be the first, but no. <laughs> so listen and learn. We got to go down memory lane right now because uh -huh. I don't <laughs> like that. I, I I try to be nice and I try to be politically correct, but y'all got to stop the BS. Yeah, stop it. Because I, I'm not, I, I can't tolerate that. We're going to have a, a show that we will talk about the history, how these guys on here, they're putting their work that, that set the example for you guys, that that's cool. Because if you look at Malik White and them, I mean, who they played? Some team in... I don't even know who they play. And I, you know, I, 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 I'm and a no dog at them, heart. No disrespect, Coach Coke. I love Coach Coco. But I don't even know who and, they play. And he even knows because I spoke to him about that. You know, right. conversation. he 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 know the level. But you know, you want to play up against you, and you do what you supposed to do, and that's that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. right. You know, but the competition level is definitely. Anytime you get in the champ state championships, and you win about twenty and thirty points in the state championship final, right. That lets you know the competition yeah. level where you at. Yeah. You know. Right. So, yeah. So, yeah. We ain't want to we ain't go off all the time. <laughs> no, we cool. Yeah. That's yeah. what we doing. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, I just had to do I thought about that. I was like, no, man. Then I saw him yesterday at the game. Yeah. I said, hey, man. So, I pulled up on him. I said, you know, he said, no, man, no disrespect, OG. No respect. Man. I said, I just had to let you know, yeah, man. So, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, You'll yeah. get your chance to get your shine on. And we're going to have y'all in here because y'all did your thing. But... Y'all can't, these guys here, no, the teams that they had yeah. from 2000, 2004, y'all guys were stacked. No, no, for real. And 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 I have to go into these things, and I'm going to be going to talk about that J.J. Reddit game. And, mm -hmm. oh. oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, you know. So go to that 2000 year at, at West. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, where was that? Um, second <laughs> semester. Yes, yeah, second I'm semester. At, um, 12 games. 12 games. I got in the lineup pretty fast. Okay. I even was the key person to win to help us win the district championship against um Dominique Jones and them boys, I think. Manchester. Manchester. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hit three threes back to back. Okay. Shout out to Dom. And then, man. um my big brother Shaquan Hunter got hit the game winner late, I think a mid range or something. Mm -hmm. Was it a mid range? Mm -hmm. Hit the mid range for the game winner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Coach Mack was like um running play for Tyree. I ran it, hit the three. 
When you started in place. or just got Nah, I was coming it. off the bench. Mm-hmm. Oh, was, okay. I, I, I came off the bench averaging 13, though. Mm-hmm. Came that's off that's playing. damn good. I came off playing averaging like 13. Okay. Um, Called the first play for me. I hit the three in the corner. Mm-hmm. Called the second one. They're like, same play? Yeah. Give it back to me. I hit it. Matter of fact, yeah, it was two threes, if I ain't mistaken. Then we tied it up. Or we was up, or they was up one. Mm-hmm. Shaquan come down a couple seconds to hit the mid range. We won the game. Mm-hmm. After that, um, it was over with. My far as my confidence, the um, coach put in me. Cause I won't. I'm, you know, I'm. Sh- I'm a shoot. We but, know that. <laughs> we know as that. A, as a as a freshman in the Dominion District Championship. In one of the toughest districts mm-hmm. around. Mm-hmm. And you call and call your name out as a freshman and you come through. Then you call it again, you come through again. It's like Okay. Okay. Fast forward, we get to the States. We play against Salem. It was um what's his name? Um John Gilchrist. Yeah. And they had a big, and they had a big dude named Key. Man, <laughs> yeah, you got we got to hear this because John Gilchrist, he he can score, man. They was tough. We went in their environment. That game was crazy. <laughs> Who was on my team? Marvell, Shaquan, Chris Green, Dante Hammonds, uh, Ant was playing. Jesse Pella, Rosa Taj. We had a nice little. Yeah, squad. What I said, man. That's why I was like, y'all should have got some championships out of that bunch. I feel like if we would have beat them that year. Because we was tall, we was big, but we had, we did homework. It, it was hard to watch film back then. Right. You heard about it. And the coaches go to the game. We heard about dude Key mm-hmm. and John Gilchrist. Mm-hmm. Some sophomore dude came out and had about 25. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But long story That's short. That's rare. Long story short, I started that game. Okay. And ain't nobody had no issues, right? Nope. Okay. I started that game, and man, they ran the press on us. I don't even think I took too many shots. I might have had about nine points, but mm. long story short, they beat us by twenty. Wow. Yes, sir. What is that? Oh, Liberty somewhere? No, nah, they we played it. No, nah, it was in seven five. At seven five. Salem. Salem, Salem, Salem down Island the beach. School. Yeah, the beach. Okay. that's what we played again. It was John Gill, Chris, and a dude named Key. Mm-hmm. It was nice. Okay, wow. Some dude we ain't even know about had about 25 that game. Okay, 75. Y'all got one on me today. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because That team was tough that year. They okay. It was tough with Gilchrist and that dude Key. He was a big man. He was he was tough. Okay. But, yeah, after that, going into my sophomore year. And that's just 2001. That's 2001. Yeah, we had some scores on around there. It was. Um, in the, especially in Dominion District. It was me. Yeah, Jesse Pella, Rosa, Taj, Henley, mm-hmm. Ant Green, and mm-hmm. Sean Taggart. We had Jerome Choice. We had a, mm-hmm. we had a couple of tough guys. We had a um, couple guys I'm missing, I think. But long story short, we went like 31-1. and, 31 and one. We supposed to have a perfect game. Who y'all lost to? We lost to Manchester because the coach set us out because – um, me and Andy have a ride, and Taj and Jesse came out. They went and come get us, and we was late, and he didn't play us. Oh, it made wow. us you know, it was a perfect game, perfect season. And then Dom, Dom was Dom going there, or he's still there? No, he should have been gone back. He should have been he gone. Yeah, gone. that's right, because he was he at was VCU gone. then. He was gone. Mm-hmm. We was gone. He was wow. Gone. But um, that's the year going to JJ Reddick. Mm-hmm. That was JJ Reddick. Yeah. yeah, my sophomore, sophomore year. year. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's talk about that. We was talking about that game today. Me, CT, Marlo, DJ. All right. What everybody wanted to know from the beginning. Why did they like? Why did Wilson? I didn't see the game yet, so I, I'm mad that I didn't watch that game in its entirety. But all they kept saying was, "Why Wilson stayed in the zone." Mm. Breezy, mm-hmm. you you could chime in too. Cause we, we ain't run a zone though. Well, see, I don't know. Say, I didn't watch it. That's what they we were saying. We ran like a, we were in a box and one. Okay, but to be honest, a lot of people talk about the forty three where he had like 
twenty eight off free throws. Okay. He got so many fouls. Okay. Everybody fouled out. We, yeah, like been when you learn all the when you learn and you don't learn how to come off picks into college. Right. And then they were setting picks. Picks for us. And as soon as we come off picks, they call a foul. Or as soon as, as soon as we'll catch back up, they'll slow the game up. Because I saw a highlight the other day when I was going through some of your stuff, and I seen where he was at the L, and he was just like. Shooting and it, and it was a, it was a four point play that one mm-hmm. and I was like they barely even touched him I'm telling you and I was like and he was like walk up walk up and it was like two quick back to back it was like somebody did like a thirty second clip of him yeah playing y'all and I was like they barely touched him but they won't they won't like back to back like that because he was getting so many he was coming off so many down screens mm-hmm. was. Jesse got in foul trouble off just coming off down screens. Mm-hmm. Like coming off them and they, whatever. Mm-hmm. But long story short, man, he hit a lot of deep threes, but he made about he scored like twenty some, twenty seven points off free throws. Okay, for sure. So, in your opinion, Weezy, you, you you can chime in. When we was up, when Lamar was up here talking about the Hampton game, mm-hmm. about what adjustments as a coach, looking back on it now, would you have made? Because technically, everybody said that y'all was better than them. Right, we was. Yeah, yeah, right. talent-wise. Talent-wise. But the question that I always have is why can't we – see, the 757 guys, the reason why they get so much love is because they win the championships. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we have all the athletes. They won't because the players that were better than us. Mm-hmm. It came down to coaching to me. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, they start coaching different. Instead of doing what got y'all to be 31-1, and one, mm-hmm. right. the same thing, I would say, coaching errors, the same thing with threes. Mm-hmm. Like, why did y'all wait to now? Mm-hmm. So what would you say? i say... Because that's one championship we went, game. Right we now. went boxing one. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then we went man. And then after everybody started fouling uh, now, out, I was the only person out there, me and Sean Taggart. Okay. Because Ant fouled out, Taj fouled out, Jesse fouled out. Damn. And that was like, like three, four minutes into the goddamn, four, I mean, to the fourth quarter. So people like, run man, it's hard to run man when your right, key y'all. players yeah. getting right. fouls off little, just off anything. Mm-hmm. And you had the crowd getting into it, and 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 the more the crowd getting into it, cause you out there in their territory. So even though it's not at their home field, but what was it, Liberty, yeah, Liberty right? Yeah, Liberty. Liberity. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but that it, favors it them. It supposed to been at UVA though. Oh really? And then they switched it to Liberty once he signed with Duke, oh. to his hometown. It supposed to been at UVA, and now and they you, switched I, it around. Man, that's crazy. But long story short, man, it was. It was it was definitely like frustrating just by because we walked it at three with like in the fourth before every, before mm-hmm. Taj we walked it at three mm-hmm. soon as the, our momentum started coming our way right whistles 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 whistles, whistles, whistles. Mm-hmm. then next thing you know open back up home cook Jesse gone Taj gone Ant gone now it's just me and, and, and Tagger and young guys. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. See, people, we 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 hear the stories, man. I mean, we hear the street people talking about it, but some of them said they was at the game, some of them won't. So that's why I said I I rather hear from the horse's mouth. Is y'all played in that game, and it's man, just only thing they care about is we lost. We lost. Yeah. They don't. They they know what happened. If they saw the game, they right. saw that was the, one of the longest games ever because it was a lot of fouls. Mm-hmm. But. Mm-hmm. You know, so y'all, but so did y'all, uh, uh, leading up, did y'all know about JJ Reddick or just we, like you said, we heard, heard. um, heard, but Hermitage beat him that year, and we beat Hermitage, okay, we beat Hermitage easily, but that's how it happened, though, right? And, and then just, people was looking, I remember people saying they were 13 or 15 and 13 at Rutgers, man, it was like 15 and 13 for yeah. sure, and then you was like, okay, well, we're gonna be JJ there. was hurt, and he came back and he signed with Duke, and then. We supposed to been going to UVA and they were like, oh, they switched to the Liberty. Mm-hmm. Kind of found out that's where he's from. <laughs> Grown up. <laughs> but yeah. And he had what, 40, 46 43, points? 43. 43. 43. Did you ever, like, y'all ever, like, have any regrets about that game or you just, like, y'all got picked on a lot? Because people didn't know who he was then until you got the dude. 
And everybody was like, that's the dude to beat with. That's all you hear about in mm -hmm. Richmond. I mean, he the dude to beat with. People can pick on us, but we beat everybody in the in the region. That's true. What can you say? We can hear from outsiders. Right. But we can't can't hear from nobody from nobody in the community. Yeah, because we beat y'all. <laughs> right. Like, easily. So we beat everybody. That's easily. a great comeback for that. I like that. I like that. No, because that's what it was. So I mean, I maybe I ain't lose no home games that well. I, okay, that was gonna be my next question too. None, like, no, your four years at West. My four years, I never lost a home game. There you have it. There you have it. Um, so after that loss, uh, you go into your junior year. Mm -hmm. All right, who's back on the team? But Taggart was a Taggart was no Taggart. No, Taggart came, came back and Green. And we had Jerome Choice. We had um, Thomas. Thomas Green. Thomas Green. They were 55, um, right? Yep, Big Thomas guy. Green. We had um, Bob. Bob. We had Duke. Yeah, Duke. Hawk. Hawk. Mm -hmm. A couple guys, X, but they was younger. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah. I, but, but this, I'm not even going to cut across you, but this you time, cool? this your show at this point. Yeah. yeah. You got, I, I could say my sophomore year was my show too because. I got all Metro first team. I got all Metro three years in a three row. Three years in a row. Can't nobody uh, name a person in Richmond did that. Name it. Not right offhand, I can't think of can't. anybody did that. That's what I tell people <laughs> yeah. all the time. Yeah, I can't. Can't think of anybody. Not first team. First team, right? Yeah. First team. Yeah, not first team. Three straight. Yeah. I don't. I can't think. That's off top. I can't think anybody. I mean, about you, if, if somebody do see this, we could put it on Instagram. No, that's fine. No, we're gonna we can make this a clip. Yeah, yeah, we can make this a clip. Three years straight. Anybody object? Let us know. You know, when y'all see this clip, we are gonna post it. It makes sure, but I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, but yeah, my junior year, it was definitely. Um, People was looking forward to seeing me play. At, at this point, point. At this point, yeah. And it was. I gave people what they wanted to see, I think. <laughs> I, I can't speak to your senior year, so you know I'm not going to even well, go yeah, junior that year. Junior yeah, let's year, go to the junior year because we want to revisit. I mean, junior year, we did the same thing for mm -hmm. real. We lost we lost against Benedict team, Boom Bali and um, right. Brandon Hamilton. Okay. That was, and we lost. Um, and that was like in a like a that was like time, a tournament. Like a tournament yeah. or nah, we won. Nah, I got three. I got matter of fact, we I got two Richmond Town Dispatch championships, mm -hmm. and I got three regional championships. Straight. Okay. Yeah. But, so um, when you was here, won't nobody beating you. Nah. Period. When you, when it was your time. But when they did win, they they won the championship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I was I was say this. I tell him all the time, like his his juniors and se his junior senior year. And like I said, I like to always keep stuff in context. Mm -hmm. I like to put in the mind frame of when Philly, when AI took Philly, took Philly to the championship. Okay. How the, how that whole team was involved around AI, and everybody else had roles to play, mainly on the defensive end. Okay. And and then you score as needed in certain spots, and that's that was the makeup of that team. Where you know you had Va Thomas and you know all these other guys where. Doing enough, Eric Snow, Eric Lynch, and all those mm -hmm. other guys doing their roles to make sure mm -hmm. if I got to set a screen, if I got to play defense, if I got to do all this thing to know. And it was just, it was collectively. Mm -hmm. right. Like McMillan had them guys really. He definitely did. Everybody knew what role oh, they were. To the point where, like, if you shot the ball <laughs> before <laughs> he shot it, you was coming. You was coming to sit. Okay. And, and let me um, let me go ahead. A lot of people be mad at Mac Millen, but I can say he one of the best coaches. No, he is. Mac okay, we, we, get, yeah, we, we yeah, gonna get yeah, to that. Part. Okay, yeah, yeah, a lot of people say, part. "Oh, I should have did this, I should have yeah. did that," but yeah. none of them people was never in the predicament or we, the situation he was in. Yeah, we talk yeah. about it at the gym all the time. Oh, That's yeah. why it made me want to do this because of the things that. That game, the Keytuan them thing, and and when boy Pac them lost down there, the Booker T, and all these controversial things. That's what made me want to do a podcast because you can hear from all the people that was or won't there, but when you get it from y'all y'all perspective now as adults, mm -hmm. and now you could give a better perspective or like you said, keep it in context to what it is. So now let's 
you know, go to that part. So junior let's go year. to your junior year. Junior year, it was definitely was a. It felt like my senior year, to be honest. Coming out party. Coming out. Okay. Coming out. I was um, I was went to the I went to the Nike Jamboree Top One Hundred. Okay. I was. I went through AAU, all the Sebastians, the White Howards, and all them boys, going through Bob Gibbons. Me and Ingram won the championship going going in that in that during that summer mm -hmm. before the junior year. Okay, we placed like fourth. And you still playing with Squires? No, oh. Team Richmond. Team we Richmond. Switched from Richmond Gold to Team Richmond. Okay. I said I, I was playing. I was gonna play with Squires, but he was doing too much pressuring and trying to. You know what I mean? Just yeah. I ain't I ain't feel. Like it was home. Okay. But um, going into that year, we played in Detroit. It was Sebastian Terrafield. It was all them boys. Mm -hmm. That was like, and I came out. It was, man, matter of fact, Atlanta Celtics with Dwight Howard. Oh, ran yep. up. We was the only team to beat them. They, really? If you look, they only had one loss. Wow. It was it was Dwight Howard, Zach Rand, I mean, um, 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 was Randolph mm -hmm. and it was Josh Smith. They was on that one. Wow, that's right. Yeah, they, they was, came they on the same the, year. They, yep, two thousand four, my year. Yep, and they was the team to talk about AAU because they was just had all number 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 one draft picks, big men like Bigs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And they still but we was the only people to beat them. For real, I didn't know Gibbons. that. Yeah, we bought him, beat him in the final. Yeah, four. Bob Gibbons. Yeah, he was the big thing back. That was the day. biggest. That was Nike, EYBL, yeah. all that. But no, Bob Gibbons. Bob Gibbons tournaments. When you ain't playing there, when you you had to qualify. Yeah, Bob Gibbons year. had the magazines that was coming out. And like I said, I got MVP. We won it twice. We won it the fought before that. Um, my ninth grade year. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, my tenth grade year. Going into my tenth, that ninth grade year, and then. Going into my eleven. Okay. We won it both in Virginia and then we won it and then going into this year we lost to Florida Flash Break with Darius Washington. Okay. Because we played against Dwight Howard and them and by the time I was playing, I was cramping up. I couldn't even play with so many games. Then you had to play like four games on a day. Yeah. But they beat us by like three. Okay. But going into that year, I was people it was like male coming in. Mm -hmm. Football mail coming in. All SEC schools, football, basketball, um, colleges coming to the gym. Like wow! And see, I already say football. You playing football, but like, we really won't know for football, man. Right. Like talking about. But I got if you, I'm gonna send it to you. I got a couple of state um, stats. Um, my sophomore year. All-purpose touchdowns. I think it was like 25, 27. And I heard you was a monster on the football field. I mean, I, I hear that. I hear more guys talking about what you did more in football, to be honest with you, I was running basketball. Like a and I'm like, huh? I run like a 4-4, four, 4-3 four, four, easy. I was like kick returns. They're kicking it out of bounds. Mm. <laughs> they don't want, matter of fact, I got double. <laughs> I talk about this all the time. I said, who you know got double team? Football. Junior year, basketball junior year, football senior year, and basketball senior year. I got double team. People really like, <laughs> man, we're going to throw it to them. Right. I had a guy cover one and another guy over top of me. I try to find many ways to get the ball, even be in the middle, mm -hmm. or, the kick, or the kick or the punt, or they, you know, they'll kick it out of bounds, whatever. <laughs> even on corner defense, wow. cornerback, they never threw it to my side. And Choice was your quarterback, right? Choice. Was my quarterback Chris Robinson one year? Yeah. Wow. But yeah, going into that junior year of basketball. And at this point, you you made your commitment that you was gonna play basketball pretty much. Did you are you kind of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, or you just figured that I still might get this football? Thing I was shot. just playing. You just playing. I ain't really think about schools. I ain't really think about. I was just playing. Just being. It's it's natural. Yeah. Okay. Something that I was doing my whole life, just football. Okay. Basketball. Football, basketball. But going into that year, they had us number one. Okay. Um, we go into, I think, the time dispatch, I think. Nope. We go into that Randolph Macon joint where we played against mm -hmm. J.R. Mm -hmm. um, Smith. And they put that together because me and J.R. Smith came out of the same class. Okay. And they always compared us. Okay. And so we played against them. And... Well, we lost. Did we lose? Oh, we won. 
I feel like nah, we we lost. We lost by one. We got double team. Mm. Cause people know from my junior years and my senior year, won't nobody else really shooting the ball. Mm-hmm. Ant couldn't shoot. Mm-hmm. He more like a defender slash. Mm-hmm. Thomas was a set shooter, but he just ain't take too many shots no more. Right. And then, yeah, we didn't really have too many. So people already knew like we gonna try double team. Mm-hmm. But people didn't know. When we ran that two two one, we scored mostly off steals, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. off our press, and we set up offense. A lot of people ain't set up offense. We set up offense because when you got me coming off this way, that way, down screens, up screens, you got a double. You mm-hmm. sit in the zone, right? It's gonna be, it's over with. But going into that junior year, we faced some tough teams in the city. Mm-hmm. L- Lamar, um, L- um, Jamal Fleming and L.C. Baker Armstrong, that was tough. Mm-hmm. Um, for, um, Armstrong. Armstrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause it, it, real quick before we go into that, he was sitting here Sunday. I had him in here Sunday. Who him, Jamal had the Hollis Springs basketball team, the current team, oh. but Jamal on a coaching staff with Tennyson and Dad Stock and all of them. And Jamal was talking about that 2003 Highland Springs team that he felt they felt disrespected. Mm. That people talk about Brandon Rosell team. Oh, that's right. They won the state. Over to, yeah, they won the state that year. Andre Ingram. That's two, that's two Jamal. I'm talking about. I mean, my, not Jamal. Jannar Fleming. Jannar Fleming. Fleming. My bad. Yeah. My bad. But, my bad. Yeah, but my bad. yeah, coming. They did. They um, we lost to South Lake. They beat them, but we end up beating them in the region. Yeah, they beat them in the region. Y'all, y'all beat Highland Springs in the region. <laughs> yeah, that same state that's team. The, the year that we talking about but right now. That's right. how. I, that's how it went for <laughs> right. The team that won it. Or the, Stay like, home. Like even Hermitage. Hermitage ain't never beat us, but they beat her Cave Springs. Right. Holly Springs, everybody was like, we can't wait to see this game. You and I. No dream. disrespect. Jamal Fleming. Um why uh, Ingram all uh, mo- 90% of them was my teammates. Right. Why Hicks, Maurice Reavy, um, Kevin, and um, yeah. All those my AU teammates. Mm-hmm. But that game, people were so disappointed because they thought it was going to be like yeah. so such and such. But I knew Ingram game. Right. And knew Jamal Green. I mean, Jamal Fleming game. Right. And we took him out of there. So y'all beat him double. We beat him by 20. <laughs> we had him by like 28, 30. See, before. that's the thing. I was reading the paper, and even though I still won't go into the games, <laughs> I'm sitting up here like, Whiff was the team, but Hollis Brings ended up winning. Right. So I'm like, so that's why I was like, well, maybe people thinking that because y'all was the better team, thinking that's why they might don't get no credit they because they no, didn't win the regional here. They didn't get no credit because they was good. Right. Mm-hmm. They was good all on that whole East End and right go. They were on South Side. They were on South Side. Just like I just keep it real. Ain't nobody came to South Side and beat me. Yeah, you, you said it. Ain't nobody did it. But when we came there, it was like, I could say we was like, it was like, like some fat five type of type of vibe mm-hmm. that year. Mm-hmm. Cause it was like, yeah, like, yeah, we like Holly Springs, yeah, Ingram, yeah. But as soon as the tip, it was over with, gone. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. They all people. Everybody know that. But I, I wish I could have been around. I, I wish I could have. But yeah. But they be. We lost to South Lake. Okay. Another. Another. Northern Virginia team. Another. No, nah, South Lake was from yeah Northern Virginia. Northern Virginia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people blame Mac, but I always tell people, and even when I coach, like the players make the coach. Okay. The coaches can only give you your homework and get you prepared, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. you only as good as your job or right. your position. So when it came down to other people stepping up, mm-hmm. it's just it ain't go through like that. Other guys on their team stepped up. Mm. So O three, how the Springs win? Yep. Y'all lose to South Lakes. Yep. Season over with. Season over with. So 
would y'all say that year y'all should have won that year? If y'all would have Man, got I think about it. We supposed no, to win won three. They would have won eight. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I don't hear about two. No, we would have beat three. South Lake. We would have been up playing the Springs. And they don't how the that. energy and how we, our demeanor come, we already up 10. Right. Yeah, before and we, the game even start. I know how to get an Ingram head. Ain't right. know how to get a Jamal head. Mm-hmm. Tagger was getting in, Tagger was in his mode by then. He mm-hmm. was dunking the ball off the drop step. Yeah. He was hitting his little free throws. Then mm-hmm. you had Duke doing his little one and two. Mm-hmm. And Tagger was a senior that year. Yep. Mm-hmm. But. Because how he, he, he went to Memphis, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The more yeah. I think about it, I supposed to have like at least three, at least two, sophomore and junior for sure. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But yeah, going into finishing off that this season. senior year. And we gonna we go because we go we gonna keep. I told Tim because we gonna have some film. We gonna keep this under two hours. But I told him this gonna be pushing it. But I'm gonna do my best. We gonna it do might this. Be, it might be like it might be under under two hours. Yeah. Oh yeah. We gonna we gonna keep it under <coughs> that. But we gonna we gonna get to that because I I gotta hear this. This is the year that I came in and <laughs> was hearing about you and I was like I refuse to go see another high school game. So let's let's go into that. Senior. Yeah. I'm here. That's that time. I'm hearing everything. <laughs> Senior was like, I was hearing everything. Man, you can put your name in the draft. Man, this before the even season started. In the draft? Because that AAU year, mm-hmm. going into, I was in the top 100 NBA association. Yeah, playing R- Richard Metro. I mean, I meant. Uh, yeah, playing um, my team, last year. Team yep. Richmond, I think. And we lost in the Final Four to Memphis. They had Sean Williams. He mm-hmm. went to high school to NBA. Mm-hmm. Then you had Corey Brewer. Yep. Then you had the dude Dre. He played with Memphis. Then you had man. They had some players. Mm-hmm. They stacked their team. The whole because Corey Brewer was with Tennessee Travelers, but since they didn't make it to the Nationals, mm-hmm. they combined all of Tennessee players together. And that Memphis, the edge, like that Richmond edge, mm-hmm. with a couple key players. Yeah, but Squires was, and Squires my guy. We needed Boom Bali. Mm-hmm. Like two different tournaments, the Adidas camp, I mean, Adidas tournament and mm-hmm. international. Mm-hmm. We wanted Boom Bali. He wanted to play, but Squires ain't wanting to play. We needed him. I ain't gonna lie. We needed Boom. We we ain't even have a our tallest player was six five, and we was beating everybody though. Wow. But we needed Boom. We need it, boom. Mm-hmm. But final four. After we knock off Louisiana Sports Academy with Big Babies and Tavis Thomas and all them guys. Mm-hmm. So ain't no Boo Williams or nothing. This, this. Man, Boo Williams ain't no. Okay. Boo Williams. <laughs> you, you know why I'm saying that. We used to know why I'm doing that. <laughs> Man, we used to beat Boo Williams so bad. Marquise always wanted to fight me. But he used to pretend he wanted to fight me. Oh, but he, Marquise Cook was one. He was a league guy mm-hmm. in Virginia. Mm-hmm. But you know, that year I was state player of the year. Going, but I was already gonna be. I feel like I should have got state player of the year my junior year. But it was like a, uh, we all that year, huh? Who got it that year? Was it Cal- Cal- Calvin Baker? No, it did. no, I can't remember. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know who. Got but it. somebody got it, and it oh, won't me. Oh three, and they ain't, and Macmillan was mad because they I got the votes, mm-hmm. but they ain't let me win it. And it won't Ingram neither. It won't Ingram. Okay, so it had to be somebody else we don't even know. But okay, okay but go ahead. I think uh, it might have been, it was, I don't know who it was. I can't remember. State player of the year. Yeah, 03. We'll, we'll have to fact check that. But, but yeah. Going into um, my senior year that summer, I get invited to the NBA Top 100. Okay. And I won the, tour- I won the championship on that, that year. Okay. In that, in that whole. Wow. And they ranked me top 20. They ranked me. I got the picture. They said, best guards in the country. It was Sean Livingston, Booby Gibson, mm-hmm. Sean Singletary, mm-hmm. Tony Douglas, yeah. oh, oh. Kyle Lowry, me. Wow. Um, Toy Green from Play With Florida with Noah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I send you all them pictures, too, so you can use them. But, um, yeah, we're going to use that ball in the VA. Yeah, Appreciate it was that, man. Top, play, top guards in the country. It and, was like 10 of us. And all of them. Isaiah Swan. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yep. 
Yeah, Weezy, I know you seen it like, yeah, he 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 on his way, man. I know you I know you were. <laughs> I definitely, know you was on it saying that. Definitely was. And I get into like before I even get to my senior year, just the environment I was around, mm. the people I was kind of being associated with and everybody wanna be around and everybody wanna be cool and me. I'm a leader, I'm a follower, but I'm more of a I'm gonna do my own thing type of thing. Okay. Or if you with me, you with me, but I was never following, I was always leading. But some of the time, most of the time I was leading, I had bozos around me. Bad decisions. Bad decisions. Hanger on. Bad decisions. Just bad decisions. Or just oh. being around associated with my neighborhood, like going into that senior year, you know, being real, like they was shoot, like trying to put murders on me and shit. Yeah, Speaking I heard about that. Mm -hmm. I heard about Like that. even at the Seeker Center, police coming to the games, mm -hmm. like that, me getting a lot, me going to have to do a lot of tech to test off some stuff I don't know nothing about. Mm -hmm. And the whole time I was at practice, it was doing that Hurricane Isabel thing. Yeah, yeah. Doing that whole same thing, and they was blaming me for some. Whole time, they probably thought I knew something because where I grew up at. Right. And I ain't know nothing about it. Okay. But it's just just being around or going through little adversity as a kid mm -hmm. just by doing what I've been doing, being around my friends playing sports mm -hmm. or not knowing this. Like, I tell kids now, like, hang with people that do the same thing you do. Like, you man, play basketball. Like, the individual. Right. You play basketball, hang with guys that play basketball. Right. You're a football player, hang with guys that play, play football. football. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But there's always the guys that ain't involved in sports, mm -hmm. but because they cool and they got this and that, they're attracted to guys like yourself yeah. on mm -hmm. that level. And they could be enticing, and right. you know. And it was already bad stuff saying I'm this guy just off the way I played basketball. Period. Just right. By how I grew up as a kid playing with adults, grown people getting fouled, getting pushed down by my uncle, taking me to read. And, and if you know Debo, <laughs> I don't you know, know Debo. Yeah, it's Uncle Keith. What we talking about? <laughs> yeah. If you know who talking about, you told him how to play basketball. Yeah. His name, nickname Debo. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> that you, says it all, right? You play he basketball against Keith, you go get fouled. <laughs> he won't even. He won't even the greatest basketball no, player though. At all, but he, he had the good. heart. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that and good. and he had the confidence. Like I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he was just. He just had a drive in him. Like, man, I knocked Mike Tyson out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, with a name Debo, yeah, I guess you would. And, right? <laughs> and to be honest, and people don't, I go, I'm going to rewind it back a little bit. Okay. How I play. Okay. I grew up to play. Mm -hmm. I grew up to play around guys who watch goddamn Detroit Pistons. Right. That borderline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that fine line. I think all of us. That fine line. line. Yeah, yeah that that's line. how you think going to be that tough. Fine line. My yeah. Line. My uncle put me on the opposite team to foul me. I go to Sacred Heart and play. My cousin Calvin, he was better than my uncle. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he really kind of, me being a, like, if I ain't, if I went in church lead or rec, mm -hmm. I was playing. Okay. With them. Mm. I'll be at Reed playing. He'll, he'll, he'll be like, no, nah, my nephew on this team, I'm, I'm checking, checking him. Checking him, right. Or if we at Sacred Heart, I'm going to, I'm checking him. And the whole time, I'm just getting fouled. <laughs> And I'm getting mad, frustrated. To I me, think we I'm, all had an uncle like that, man. <laughs> when I'm saying it was like to a point, and I and I explain people like I explain it like this: the little brother always better than the big brother. Right. That's that's true. Mm -hmm. And the way my uncle had me around, like I got an older brother. But he won't nowhere near athletic as me. Okay. But, but he was bigger and stronger than me, but he did me the same way. Okay. Football, basketball, fouling me, bringing me play with the older guys. Mm hmm And after a while, it was over with. By the time 14, 15, 
Mm-hmm. It was easy. Right, especially playing against guys your age. But then I had to learn how to play without being taught by just not trying to get fouled. Okay. And that's how I learned how to shoot. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> hey, you know what? I ain't going to the hole that much no. right now, but I'm going to learn how to catch and shoot. And that would open my game up. I had a mm-hmm. jump shot before I even – Knew how to mm-hmm. do nothing else. Your elevation, your shot was probably one of the prettiest. I, I'm, I'm, I got a confession, man. <laughs> I remember I was working in the group home in, in, in Central Guards, man. And I took some kids down to the hut, and we was down there playing, man. And I told you, I, I was done with sports, period, man. You, I, I was, man, playing <laughs> shooting jumpers like you, dog. And I'm, I'm, I, would, I wish I had the kids here. We was playing the hut. I was taking shots from like half court, like pulling up. We was playing half, whole court. I got, walked my jumper like yours, the elevation, the posture, everything. I, I really had got started playing basketball again because of you. Yeah. I was going to that one game in Maury. <laughs> All I could see in my head was the tip. And it was me, Malik, and Milo. Malik, what was it, 2000? Malik was probably like, four, five or something. And I just seen the tip and the ball went to you and the right side, you took one, sh- you grabbed the ball and just shot it. I said, who was this dude? Why he doing that? Walk up. I said, is that the, well, I said, that's the dude I was talking about. Right there, I said, that's a pro. <laughs> everybody was like, whoa. I was like, oh my God. I was like, who is this dude, man? And I know I'm messing the story, man, but that, for me, I know people are like, man, are you crazy? No, I'm telling the truth, for real, man. For that whole year, I was watch I, everything I did basketball was shooting jumpers. I won't go into the hole. I said, I'm older guy. <laughs> I was shooting like Kyrie. In my head, you know how you can foul four, three, two, one? I'm calling down the court, pulling up like Tyree. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, Tyree, Tyree. <laughs> I'm like, man, and dudes didn't even know who I was talking about over yeah. at Flair Fulton. Yeah. But I'm down in the hut, and I'm like these young boys up. I'm like, I'm feeling it. So I done made three in a row, and I'm like, okay, okay I'm the counts. I'm happy. I'm coming down again. I'll play with this tall dude, I, young dude. He was in the young. I said, man, you can't ball. And I had to play it off like, I was never yo good. Mm-hmm. I could play, yeah. but I was like, man, I went, man, I was like, yo, I was tell my wife at the time, I was like, hey, man, I was talking to dudes. I was Tyree Everett. <laughs> <laughs> she looking at me like, who is Tyree? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, man. <laughs> I'm Tyree. I'm like, I ain't care what nobody said, man. I'm going to collegiate. I'm shooting jumpers with Rio Turner and all of yeah. them. I'm like, I'm Tyree in my head. I'm like, I ain't telling them that because you know thing. But I'm, I'm Tyree. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's why I, when I met Weezy. Yeah, that's all yeah. I kept talking about, yeah, man. That's all he, yeah. When I first, yeah, when I saw Kobe just. Said, I was like, man, ain't nobody better than Tyree. <laughs> and yeah. they were like, man, you've been around longer than that to know better. Yeah. But that's what it was, man. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, but go ahead, man. I ain't be the ad. No, you cool, you cool, you cool. But I always wanted to tell you that all these years, man, and I had to tell you that because I was like, all I can think in my head is that Murray game when they was just knocking down. That was a handover, wasn't it? It was a handover. And they and was, you was in front of their the bench. One. It was running the box. Running box one. one. The whole I got, game. I got yeah. ran boxing one on that whole season. Yeah. My senior year. And they you yeah. was in the corner in front of their bench. And they was talking. I know they was talking trash. Yeah. Cause Tyree was in the jump and you made the one shot and you look back at him and saying something. You came in again, the dude knocked you into the bleach to, to, to the bench. And you got up, it was like, it was four point play. I said, Man, what have I been the last but, few years? But, but I'ma say this. Like he had no fear. And that's what I'm about to say. Like, when you talk about, and I ain't trying to put him in the same category or whatever. When you talk about the Jordans and the Kobe's, <coughs> R.I.P. Mamba. But, well, you know, you start talking junk to him. Right. And, like, even to this day. He gets off on it. Like, when you start talking junk to him or getting physical with him or just whatever the case may be, it's like, now it's like, okay, now you, now you really... You know, you poking the bear now. 
Right. You know what yeah. I mean? And that two minute and that two minute ball players is like that. Because that sometimes you could talk and talk and talk and they get out their own head. Right. It's like, no, okay. Now it's like, all right. Yeah. For that okay mouth. Right. Yeah. And and see, when Keetwan was on, C T said that's how Keetwan was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piss him off. Yeah. And then And in the next game, he had 40. Yeah, against, he said he played against yep. Wilf. He had 40 yeah, that year. Yeah. At Wilf, and I think it was 97. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he said, I think they played Clover Hill or somebody in the region or something. I was like, he said, no, piss him off. Yeah. And and everybody not like that. Yeah. So for him, the last time I saw people that were like, mm -hmm. this is 04. Mm -hmm. The last time I saw the person that had the swagger and walk into a gym and command that. Yeah. Was Chuck. Yeah. And that was when they played Hopewell. Yeah. And I'm like, who is this? Him and, him and Rattling. But Rattling mm -hmm. won't like that. It was mm -hmm. Chuck. Yeah. So I'm like, him? Yeah. But you could see he was pro ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was pro. And I ain't saying this because he's sitting here. Yeah. You got people that worked at Bank of America with me. They'll tell mm -hmm. you, say, that's all this dude talk about. If I had a damn jersey, I would have came to work with your jersey. <laughs> I'm telling you, because I was out of the pocket, man. I was just like, damn, mm -hmm. go ahead, man. I ain't going to that. All that y'all, what y'all talk about is what I was going to prepare for from my uncle. For your uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. shout out to your uncle, Debo, <laughs> man, because, Lord, man. I was, well, me as a kid trying to challenge the older guys on the football, trying to play sports with them. Mm-hmm. It's just, I wanted to prove a point to him. Okay. But when people start talking junk to me, it was like, you don't even know what I've been through to get here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I you don't even know. know. I already scars on my knees and on my comeback. My grandma cussing my uncle out like, why he crying? Oh, he all right. He yeah. lost. <laughs> See, every uncle lost I know, mentally, man. physically, <laughs> everything. everything. <laughs> and when you get against the, the dudes your age, you just taking it out on them. Took it out on them. And they was like, he that good. And now. the way I did it was, I seen what my uncle did. He wasn't that good, but he played so physical and talked so much. Right. Mm -hmm. Or he'll get in your head, and he winning games. Right. Yeah. See, that. See, I remember, for me, I was in California with my uncle Nett in, in 88, and I was going to the eighth grade. And I was, my cousins were playing football out there. And I was at the park from August 1st to the 22nd. I came back the 23rd because I was out there the whole summer. I played my uncle every day at football practice. I beat him one time. I was like, had, like uh, Ray Allen did in the movie, threw the ball over the fence. Yeah. Man. And my <laughs> uncle was a, a a black belt in Taekwondo, so I couldn't beat him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like getting mad and stuff like that. So that's why I can, I, I can understand your story, man. Like, Everybody had their uncle in the family or somebody, mm -hmm. cousin or somebody that that did that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. for me, it, it made me tougher when I came back to Henderson that year. I ain't never played on the team, but I was playground. I can play, but mm -hmm. I couldn't play in a structured thing. I just mentally, right. yeah. my attitude, all right. And most of the time, for real, as me growing up, you know, you know, mom on drugs, not knowing my real father. Mm -hmm. Sports all I had, so mm -hmm. I won't let okay. nobody take it away from me. Right, that was your getaway. That was my my gateway. Yo. Yeah. So most of the time, I need to win to feel confident about myself as a person. Just going home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I go home to an environment that's full mm -hmm. of people, and I lost, it's horrible. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Especially it's, it's if you're horrible. Mm -hmm. But when I won, it felt good, even mm -hmm. though it didn't on the inside. In the inside. inside. Man. And that's how I built my confidence. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you got that. <laughs> <laughs> you still, even to this day, you still like that. Yeah. You it's, still got that. It's a mind thing, and a lot of young guys, you know, we are gonna off subject. A lot of young guys, they don't know me for real. They ain't never really had come. A few of them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like Kello, um, <laughs> got trouble. Mm -hmm. Trouble um, Lewis. Yep, that's yeah. my guy. Yeah, that, that um, the ball. Couple guys. Um, G. Else? Dean was in here yesterday. Marcus Evans got to okay. understand me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Once he came around, but he he not from here, but yeah, from down there. You know, he don't yeah. take things personal. Um, Kurt, he he was a little. He took a lot of things personal. Okay, but he already now. Though. That's my boy. I support him. I buy his clothes. But long story short, shout out to Kurt on the court. Guys, man. I don't care who it is. It could be my mama. I play the same way because yeah, it's I all about that. winning. I believe. I just want to win. You know what I mean? It, it, it made me. It, it builds me confidence in myself. And see, <laughs> I'm gonna say that too. That you, you, you definitely tipped that borderline between confidence and cocky. Would, would, would you say that? I ain't gonna say cocky. 
Uh, no, no, right, I'm just saying, but yeah. you tip that borderline because borderline. that's why a lot of people, like, like, I don't like Tyreek. I'm the same way. Yeah. They don't, because you're going to speak your mind. You're going to tell them how you feel. Like when we was talking the other day, like, if you say something, people won't have an argument with it. But if somebody like Bo, Bo Jones, or somebody like that say it, oh, it's it's law mm -hmm. or it's right. Mm -hmm. But if Tyree say the same thing, mm -hmm. I would well, say I'd be hurting somebody's feeling. Yeah. Right, right, man. Yeah. Tyree, man, he he, he think he all that. He yeah. know you, yeah. you get that. Yeah. And so that's why I said I didn't know you, but. I knew the type of person that you were, mm -hmm. and I respected that. Mm -hmm. And that's why when a lot of people said what they said, I felt differently because I knew that you were closer to them. Mm -hmm. But for me, I can relate to that. So that's why a lot of times I've always spoke when spoken to or I approached you when I felt like that it was cool to do that because I didn't know you, and I know you probably kind of a guarded person too. You're not going right. to just let anybody mm -hmm. in. So that's why I've always just said, in time and years, you know, we're gonna have this conversation because I always respected you. Appreciate so, that. and and that's why I can relate with other people. Like, man, you know this. And now, as I see by doing these podcasts and stuff like that, like talk to Mayo and all them guys, like that, they respect you and they understand you more because Mayo be act, like a crazy too on the court like that. So the guys be like, yeah. No, Tyree, man, people just misunderstand him, man. Yeah, he, that's all it is. And Luke said it on it, and he was here the other way. He Luke said, Tyree is very misunderstood. <clears throat> no, he is. He said he's very misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Y'all watch that that mm -hmm. thing. He he broke it down. He was just like. And that's my guy. A lot of people be like, Tyree, like this. He said, he's very misunderstood. No, that Good dude. Yeah. I said, I agree. Yeah, at the core. Right. Yeah, at the core. And coming from Luke, if Luke said yeah, it, yeah, yeah. then it's, everybody it's, gonna be like, ah, right, if Luke said long. it, yeah, yeah. I gotta go look yeah, at Tyree yeah, differently yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, definitely misunderstood. Yeah. But definitely misunderstood. The cockiness, uh I was confident, but I earned my respect. You earned Nobody it, right? gave me social media ain't give me nothing. We ain't even had that back then. I ain't have that. nothing. My space, but it came off. It wasn't even my space. No, not, not damn. My space and Facebook might have came out 09. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I'm but my confidence came from what I earned. Okay. Not what nobody gave me. That's true. Because most people people give them stuff off of a name and then they be cocky. Right. But you ain't even earned it, though. Right. But I earned my respect. Oh, from, you earned that like a. From, from, you know from, what? from just the whole. My whole journey through sports. Mm -hmm. You can look at it, football. You can look at basketball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I won't when you when you look at it. I was the best, or closely to the best there was when I played. And people envy that too. Yeah, yeah. and that's why people feel away. Yeah, because I can say what I want, but I can be like, I, I got the numbers, right? Or I got the stats. Yeah, jealous ones envy always. But long story short is, man. When you earn some and you got it, you feel good about yourself. That's that's right. It ain't about being cocky, humble. It's just about you enjoying your success. And and you say the word, the right word, confident, <laughs> and that's what it was. To be great though, the, to the level of greatness <clears throat> in any, not just sports or any level that you, you know, is is successful in. Mm -hmm. You have to have a certain manner of 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 this did this you know day and age you call it swag right but you know a certain level of confidence right you know you, you just have to right so but that's just that's and then a lot of say it go back to being misunderstood if you don't know a person you know at at, at their heart mm -hmm. and who they really are on the outside looking in you know is that old saying the ones that don't know are the ones that talk but mm -hmm. the ones that do know don't say a word don't say a word. But that's just what it is. Right. And that's how I carried it. I was like, I know. And I didn't even know him like that, but I just un I understood. Mm -hmm. So you just keep your mouth shut, keep it going, or you hear the noise, but I don't pay attention to it. I don't pay attention to it. Right. And I might, I learned, maybe I learned this maybe, what, maybe six months ago, right? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to say. And I, I was the same person and didn't even know it. I was so masculine as a man. Mm -hmm. I presented myself like I was masculine. I put on the court, off the court, you gonna respect me. Mm -hmm. Talking to me, playing, whatever. Mm -hmm. I was just so, 
I just, I was a man, a man, man, and I wanted yeah, to yeah, win. Yeah, you, you had that though. <laughs> I mean, you look back on it, man, and like I said, I feel like I got to remember like ever. You did, man. You, you, all of those things you said, you are right. It's not like you wrong, and I'm not one of these hanger on. So for right. anybody who's look at this, be like, oh, Larry just yeasting. Oh, he capping. No, he ain't. I, 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 I felt the same way, so that's why I was like, one day I'm gonna get to talk to you about this. You right. That's what it was. It all came down to me playing against grown men that, as right. a boy. So I figured, like, anybody my age, you a baby. Right. <laughs> right. You a baby. Right. For real. Right. I know what to do to you before you <laughs> even get on, on the court. court. Right. Yeah. I mean, because, like, I'm gonna you said, go right to you and I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Because they you, know you. Everybody want to shake hands and I'm like this. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Bow you a little bit. Little right. Nudge, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And you like, Confused, confused, like, like man. Mm -hmm. And they look at the coach, be like, "You don't even know what I just did." Yeah, yeah. First You're thing you, him. first thing you about to do is tell, right? Mm -hmm. You don't mind, you about to tell, and man. me, I'm about to score. You on the mm -hmm. score, right? It's, it's already, <laughs> and you did that. That tip, three yeah. points, ain't even ten seconds <laughs> in the game. And then once you do that, I get in your head, and I got ten. First quarter, first quarter already. Your best player checking me. What you think the next people gonna do? They already intimidated. Man, <laughs> look, I'll tell y'all a quick story, right? Because we will get back to your story before we get into that. We was at the gym 4th of July, and Kimmy was in there. And I had Noonie mm -hmm. on the podcast, but it was on the Zoom one. And Noonie told me to tell Kimmy, you know, from Henrico. Noonie said, um, tell Kimmy that at the Ash, when we played them in his senior year, he tried to dunk on me. And he said, but... No, no, but I'm an athlete. He an athlete. I won't go let him dunk on me. Now, I guess he tipped it, so he blocked the dunk. Mm -hmm. So I called Kimmy from right there. So I called Noonan. I said, Noonan, tell Kimmy what you told me. So he told him. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy said, hey, Noon, I don't think I missed too many dunks, man. <laughs> he said, but to be honest with you, that Hiraiko team y'all had, Y'all was done before y'all even got on the bus, though. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, me and Tom Cat was going to do whatever, whatever. Yeah. Noon they said, for real, for real, we was done when we was watching tape at the school. That we <laughs> 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 he said, we didn't even want to play. Forget the bus. We didn't yeah, even want to play. He yeah. said, I just had to add that to that. Yeah. So what Tyree said, like, he right, like, before the game starts, he already knows. Yeah. But see, we say that about Kobe. Mm -hmm. We say that about Chuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll say that about, you know, great players yeah. like that. But because we know him, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be like Tyree being Tyree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how I go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if Tyree was in a, a, a whole different state, whole different state, they'd be saying, "I like him. Yeah. He got it." Yeah. Right. Kobe was like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So I was like, "So why can you respect Kobe?" <clears throat> and not saying that read Kobe, but mm -hmm. he had that mentality. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Would that be fair? So yeah. I'm like. And that's where it comes in that, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to kind of piggyback on what he was saying because he's right. So a lot of the guys there. But yeah, let's go down to this this senior year, man, and, and to that to the part that I know. And we gotta talk about that infamous game against Potomac that it's always still talk about to the day. I got the DVD. I bought the DVD. You got the DVD to that game? Do. I still got it. Malik. Oh, got and it's funny because Malik watched that uh -huh. game. If, man, I think I still got. I got to find it. I, I, I still got it. I, 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 I got, got, I got the CD because I got to find them. Malik watch them all the time because he watched really those. Got all the tapes, them. but I ain't trying. I, I still got if it. Anybody get know? If anybody know how to take a uh, um, a bird of dip? Look, <laughs> but we got it right here. Stuff like that with a tape. Mac Millen got all that stuff. Yeah, I, I got the, I still got the little. They were selling them somewhere, and and I bought them. Mm -hmm. And Malik was watching them before his state championship game. He watched the Highland Springs one, then he watched your game. He was like, "Dad, you know, talking about Tyree, you know, because when you were training him a little bit, it was just like, it's like, dang, man." And so we still, he still watch him all the time. I didn't even yeah. know he still had them. <laughs> Well, he was just, matter of fact, he was watching like a couple weeks ago. That's crazy. Yeah, we said a little, we had a little yellow pack. Somebody mailed it to us. I think mm -hmm. it was somebody in the VHSL yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I bought it back. I told you, man, I was obsessed, yeah, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I forget that. But yeah, let's, let's go into this, man. I know I've been dragging this no, thing No, we out. cool. Yeah, um, we still got, we got a little bit of time. But yeah, senior year, it was like AI in the Sixers. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally. Like, yeah. no disrespect to my teammates. Yeah. It was just, it was a defensive-minded. It was a defensive-minded team. Okay. And 
I had to get 30. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> had to get 30. <laughs> had to get to 30 win. to win. Yeah. And then, yes. Yeah, you're right, because you had LaVar and Choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hawk. Tom, Thomas. Thomas, yeah. yeah. Man, no three-point shooters. Yeah, no three-point shooters. So he was it. He was I it. was it. It yeah. was straight AI yeah. sixes. So from, from the 2000, you had all those heavyweights, until now it's like, I don't want to say it's going downhill, but like the talent. Not saying nothing, don't respect the distance, nah, it guys. Was, it was a test for me to see right. if I was ready for the next level, see oh. if I can carry my team to a winning season or – See if I'm mm -hmm. really that guy. Well, you were. And I'd say, what? Well, <clears throat> I ain't losing no home games. Like you I had said. them battles with Tyrese Rice. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. One of the one of the best probably high school games people say they ever saw in the, person. Was the one that was it? Was it, it was both of them? All of them. All well, of them. One at the Man, college, at even, the even, college even my junior year, he was doing. He yeah, was, he was doing that. Yeah, Rice was doing that. Shout out. I to had Rice. to check him in the yeah. fourth quarter because could nobody really check him. I could contain him, mm -hmm. but I couldn't say use all my energy on him. Right. The fourth quarter, I check him. Right. But which is smart. And for real, yeah, senior year, man. It was it was a test for me. I mm. mean, it already was prepared. <laughs> but as far as like Mike Millen getting me physically, mentally, mm -hmm. um, this is it coming out. This party. is it. Mm. Even football. This I could nobody. I, I don't know too many people. I say this again. Mm. Another thing. I got double team my senior football, and then my senior in basketball people. LC Bird created this triangle in two with two people on me. One dude on me, <laughs> yeah. the other guy shot on me, yeah. and the other guy's in the triangle because we ain't got no other shooters. Mm -hmm. Wow. Man, they started that. Yeah. Coach Cave started that mm -hmm. triangle in two, but it usually be a guy on another guy. It was two, one guy on me and another guy shot on me. Mm -hmm. Wow. My whole senior year, everybody tried to double team me or run a but boxing was... one, and they still didn't understand that if I get it 35 feet, I'm going to shoot it. Right. Yeah. Because what you average that year, like 30 something? 30? I averaged 30. 30 mm -hmm. that, that, that year? My senior year, I averaged 30. And like I said, <laughs> triangle and two, everybody ran a triangle and two, and two people was on me my whole senior year. <laughs> he averaged 30. And I averaged 30. And I barely missed. I ain't going to say I made, like when I was shooting, I knew I was shooting six. 65, 70%. Mm -hmm. And I was I was getting to the cup. I was driving. I was shooting the middies. I was shooting mm -hmm. the threes. I wasn't really fancy with the ball. I always did triple threat. Mm -hmm. Mike Millen, he the main person told me about triple threat. He always mm -hmm. like, look at look at Jordan. What Jordan do? A person can't check you until you put the ball on the floor. Mm -hmm. When you go right and you pull up, or you go right and you go past him, and then you do it again the third time, what are you going to do? He's going to go to the hole, you shoot the midi. Mm -hmm. And he just told me how to dissect the whole triple threat. People don't know that. When everybody was leaving, I'll be on the shooting machine. Mm -hmm. okay. It'll be me and Matt. Okay. And he'll be like, triple threat. Mm -hmm. You so quick. You can rip through, pull up. You don't even got to dribble too much. I ain't going to say I was the best ball handler, but... I know what I needed to do after the third dribble with my left hand. I ain't. Yeah. Mm. I'm a score. I'm. I know what I gotta do. Mm -hmm. Right. But <clears throat> I won't try to create nothing. Mm -hmm. Like I'm trying to force to create nothing. Right. I, all my stuff was premeditated, and right. I know if I rip left and go past you, next time I might rip left, step back, mid range, or I might just jab, shoot the three, mm -hmm. or I might just catch and shoot. It just was all off momentum when I played. You could tell my that. whole senior year, people were gonna be like, "Man, Tyree put the ball." Everybody, people saying, "Nah, I still do it." I need three dribbles tops, maybe. Right after the fourth, you gotta give it up. And we talk about that all the time. Remember, remember? That's that cone. Because you're talking about a right. new era of basketball. Right, right. Six dribbles. You stalling your team out. Right. Just like I use the example, and I'm gonna come back to it. Kevin Love was a double double at Timberwolves. He got with LeBron and ball washed, and then he had to space himself. His rebounds went down. Right. His scoring went down. Right. Then he had Kyrie. Mm -hmm. Everybody was ball dominant. Right. It wasn't like you waiting for a person to create for you. 
and that won't that'll hurt your game for real. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, the way I played, it was just I'm a score. I got it. After the third, I'm giving it up. Right. Because then I know when I give it up, I got to come back around off a pick. <laughs> yep, that's true. Yep. Yeah. Yep. If I ain't got, yep. if I can't create, if I ain't whatever they doubling me, I pass it back. Pass I come back. back off a down screen, come back around. And one thing about me, people don't know is I was so athletic and endurance was just playing both sports. I ain't never get tired. Right. Yeah. yeah you don't. I, I watch you play. Like, you I played, think you're athletic. I played up and down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, people don't know. I would dunk on you, but I was just, it's two points. I right. used to try to save my energy so I won't be tired. Right. But, man. And that's crazy because you always talk about, you know, and going back off the subject, but you talk about Robert Johnson. Yeah. And you always say that he's always a pro pro. He stand out. Because he don't take that many dribbles to get his shot. He don't. And shout out to Rob, man. He was, Parkway Rob. He would get to, because he was taught by old Earl. Right. And it was always, even with Malik, they Malik. pros. Right. How they yep. play, Shout out to Malik they, too. How they set themselves up. They know where they going to their spots mm -hmm. to get a bucket. Oh yeah. And y'all won the love day. And you won the love day with on their team this year. Yeah. With the, I kind of say, I, I, I can say I put a big, I ain't going to say once I got to their team, it, we knew we was going to win. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, had, yeah. had a team, man. Y'all had like <laughs> Marvin and um, I know Marvin didn't play when you was there. I think he was hurt or something. Mm -hmm. like, he'll be here Wednesday. I got him here coming here Wednesday. Okay. Um, shout out to Marvin. Um, yeah, you Doovy. Y'all had a nice team, man. Yeah, and y'all played well. One thing about one thing about Doovy, he gonna play anywhere I go. <laughs> I love Doovy. I got him in here he, two weeks too. Okay, okay, seven. Okay, okay. Yeah, but um, going back to the senior year, like AI. Like, that's when 50 Cent was out. That Man. was when 3 Six Mafia and Juvenile and I, and in it relate to, you know, what I do now with music. Mm -hmm. Music kept, was another gateway of me just being around Rab and being around GMGB. They, I'm hosting mixtapes. They got me on the basketball cover. I'm like, shh. I'm like a, a little young icon. I'm going around people salute. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you're taking it all in. Like and it, and it feel good because ain't nobody even care about me when I was like I, I ain't gonna say nobody, but wreck. I was okay, mm -hmm. but I was so masculine. I wanted to be the man. I wanted to be. I was destined to try to be better than everybody I could be. Right, and that's, I told you, that's where it come down to. That's and, where a lot of people had a problem with you. And, and I, and most, off the court, I'm cool. But on the court, people like, but long story short, I'm just, I earned this. <laughs> I, 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 I will say so. I created a way to get in your head and I can win and I can be happy after the game. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they want to go mad. home with an L, right. <laughs> right? And they mad and they say whatever they saying, man. Oh my God! Parents be like, he's a thug, right? Right? Oh, right? Oh. Saying all the things. He's, in front of this why he's playing like this? All oh, that, man. Whole time when people when people parents see me now, I was like, I see why you was playing like that, right? You had a chip on your shoulder. You had a point to prove. Always played. And I had a point to prove to myself. Because every year, I ain't let, if I was cocky, I would have let every year that I was doing good get the best of me. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. Every year, I got better. Yeah, it got better every year. Soft, junior year, 13 points. It. Sophomore year, what, 23? Mm -hmm. Junior year, like 25. Mm -hmm. Senior year, 30. Mm hmm I ain't let it get to my head. If people say if I was so cocky, mm -hmm. but anybody that's cocky, like Floyd Mayweather, he you the best. Him. You salute him, right? People salute him mm -hmm. all the time. Even when Michael Jordan, people like Michael Jordan cocky. As H E double hockey sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I guess cocky mean confident for real. What? But people that don't know. Late. Yeah, right. Peter, yeah, right. Yeah. They can't relate. You gotta understand. Right. And, and most of those That's they can't. Yep. 
Like, <clears throat> win or lose. Right. Well, what Ricky Bobby said, either you first or you last. Yeah. Right. That's it. No, there's no if ands or buts about that. Just like we're going to go back to senior year, new era basketball. Right. A dude can dunk on a dude and tag him. He's going to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I ain't even going to like it. Yeah. It's, it's, it is so different, man. Man. I, I seen the dude yesterday with the game, and they hugging after the game. After that, just beat you. Like the Trinity Benedictine game. Like everybody was there yesterday. I'm not going to be taking no pictures with this dude after uh, he just beat right. me. No, give me a couple of days, man. Right, not after they but take the, it. And the crazy thing about it is when I lost, I ain't talking to you. No, I ain't talking to you. <laughs> see, 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 and again, I always shout on everybody. Key 20 said he was the same way. Like, he lost. He don't want to talk to people. I want to say, what is it about that five, man? That number five, man. <laughs> I mean, it, might five. Be, it might be an 804 thing because, to be honest, I will five watching rap. Okay. Rap will five. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, like, that's the first person when I went to a George Wolf game mm -hmm. and I seen where five was rap. Okay. And then I met Keith Twan off of playing church lead and he came to talk to us or something like that. Okay. And we went to a game. Okay. But number five came from my cousin rap. Shout out rap. Yeah, man. shout out to rap, man. That's what five came Shout out Keith Twan. See, that's what I'm saying, man. I, I see all these little stuff that you might have known, I didn't know, but that 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 five, man, I was just like. Like Reese wore five. Reese. Tyrese. Right. Tyrese. Right. Yeah, right. Think right. About yeah, he wore this five. Is the 804 thing. Yeah, it got two, it. 2 2 wore five. Yep, 2 2 wore five. Think about it. <sighs> it might be just the 804 thing. Man, you talking about some <laughs> scoring, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Why do we. I know we keep saying we go there because we got we, we, we got we, we yeah. got we, we still got right. some minutes. We have twenty two, but what is it about why these dudes don't give us our props, man? Now that's seven five. Man. I mean, we don't give them their props. We just say Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. It's a rivalry thing. Even 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 me doing the music thing is a music. I'm done. I'm no, done. think about it. I'll real talk. Real talk. That, that, it's done, a 7-5. It ain't even <laughs> DMV. DMV ain't even included in right, right, this. Right, right, right. We don't even include it. It's 804-757. Yeah. Seven, 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 seven. Right. That rest of that stuff, y'all lucky. Yeah, right, right. We don't. We, we don't. <laughs> like, we no, don't. no cap. <laughs> it's yeah, just Chuck. Yeah, 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 if, yeah. Like, we salute Chuck because Chuck was. Chuck is Chuck. Chuck, Chuck is right. Chuck. Yeah, right, yeah. right. That's true. And That's Vic true. is Vic. Yeah, and Vic is Vic. Vic. Yeah, 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 yeah. But at the yeah. end of the day, it's love. It, it's, it's love. It's all love. It's all love. But man. it's all about where you from. From right. It don't matter if Chuck was from <laughs> Northside. Yeah. But when it comes to seven five seven with an eight zero four dude, mm -hmm. Chuck. Chuck. Yep. Yeah. It's Even Chuck. if he beefing with Chuck, Chuck. Hood. Yep. Chuck. It's Chuck. Yeah. Yep. It's eight zero four. I want to say. I think. I think two two daddy Ray Ray had five too. I think I want to say. Oh, I think okay. so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Ray Ray did work. Yeah. Ray Ray was five. So I'm like. I'm thinking. I'm like. Yeah. Chuck, and I already said Tony Rutledge, but Tony Rutledge was four. Mm -hmm. Chuck was three. Mm -hmm. Right. But yeah, <laughs> we don't give him, <laughs> even with the music Chuck. thing, even with the music saying, we're going to give the props to the people that got the dessert, they flowers, but we yeah. ain't going to dig in the grave like, yeah, yeah I remember, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, right. we ain't doing that. We ain't yeah. doing that. Because even like Alonzo, you don't think he from, you know, morning. Right. But you still Chuck. We're still and, Chuck, right. <laughs> right, yeah. I, and, and Chuck, man. Yeah, and, and it's crazy because this weekend they just retired his jersey uh -huh, yesterday. Uh -huh. And Bethel, yeah. And Bethel yesterday. And they were some we're honoring the 92 team. I said, stop it. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Y'all honoring Chuck, man. That number 10, man. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, it's all yeah. about Chuck because Boo Williams had his um, they doing his his documentary this weekend. That was okay. released too. Okay. So that was last night, and then Chuck was a Friday night. So mm -hmm. I guess they tied it all in together. But I'm like, yeah, Chuck. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, and, and that was saying. So did what was he somebody you kind of idolized since you played football and basketball? Yeah, of Cause, course. Because y'all have that same. Yeah, him and Ronnie Curry. Right. That's another one. Talk about. I've been trying to get him too. I've been working on him. Him and Curry. Um, Peter Ward. Why he get left off? 
Peter Wu. I'm just saying. From at Florida State. Mm. At number just, nine. It's, it's, no it's, it's, it's a couple of. Deion Sanders was one of my guys I watched. All the guys you just named are so very, 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 very. It's told you that borderline and, confident, and, cockiness, all that. And my one of my my favorite player I ever watched was Earl of Pearl Monroe. Man, That's you what I kind of put my game towards. When I used to watch classic sports, and then like 50 points, 40 points, and right. you didn't really do too much, but regular stuff. Regular See what I'm stuff. saying? And I can't lie, Black Jesus. That's why Ray Allen was one of my favorite players mm-hmm. in his prime. Mm. And, and D Wade. Mm. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> and we, we, we go, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question before we get to the end. You know what I'm saying? We had 19 minutes for that two hour thing. But, yeah. But we my, senior, my senior year, I was what? In Dime Magazine. I was like, shoot, I'm I'm, I'm better than. I'm, what'd I say? I own the city, I own the state. Mm-hmm. I got the little article, I'll send it to you too. Yeah, man, please. With Dime Magazine. Know. And that was one of my, f- that was a big magazine back then. And they had a the whole write up on me. I spoke on Wade and Ray Allen. I, f- I said, I think I'm better than Ray Allen. Hey, <laughs> ain't a way. At that time. But that was my confidence. Right, yeah. But Even though know. I knew, I ain't gonna say I knew, but he would have had to show me. Mm-hmm. Them guys would have seen you play, show up in one of your games, bro, coming right. to the games. And, and I'm hearing that year, but I know I'm skipping a little bit. We will go back. That I, all I ever heard was Bob Huggins, Bob Huggins, Huggins. walk into the school to whiff. And not too many people coming to the South Side. Mm-hmm. Now, y'all talk about, I hear them guys, again, you know, I'm always beating up 7 5, or such and such came to the PD. They came to such and such. Only, only other coach that came into to, to whiff was, um, uh, what's the coach of Virginia Tech? Um, the older coach that retired. A, I had a few coaches come to with. See, I I, and I ain't heard that. You know what I'm saying? Bob Huggins came to with. And I was like, um, Huggins came to with. Um, um, <laughs> what was it? You at, you, I forgot the name of that team. They was in the Sweet 16 one year, but he a big, I forgot his name. Um, couple coaches. Um, what was the guy at Temple? John Chaney? He came. Um, I was always seeing. Um, what was his name? The coach at VCU to play for Duke. He was always coming. Capel. Capel. Mm-hmm. Um, like to come to games though. Mm-hmm. Um, Huggins. It was. Um, but you could play for him. Huh? You could. You could. That's play my for guy. Him. Still talk to yeah. him. Really? That's that's yeah. good, man. Cause I, you, I like you. Like to be honest. Little Devin Cosby, mm-hmm. I, um, <laughs> I shouted him out to Huggins and Coach Keefe at North Carolina State. Yeah, Coach yeah. Keefe recruited me at Hargrove. Hargrove That's where, where, where Rick, Coach Richardson and all the guys come in together because all exactly. them come together. Exactly. Wow. But long story short, man, my senior year was a, it was a test for me. To see if I was ready for that next level. Mm-hmm. This, I already won the NBA Association Championship, and I'm going into my senior year. And it's Reese at Bird, then it's Reggie Williams. It was Reggie Williams. No disrespect to Reggie, but, but he won't we like won't that. think about. No, he was like he was good, okay. but we won't think about. Even though we played him and we and we won like some last minute. At their home in the region, mm-hmm. we they weren't like a team we was like focused on. Okay, it was like Bird, Bird. Um, I don't even know Holly Springs. Even, I don't think Holly Springs had nothing. Nah, I don't really think it was. It was just Bird for real. Mm-hmm. It was Southside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was Bird. For Southside. Okay. My 2004 Southside ran the whole. Mm-hmm. Okay. Southside Chesterfield. How and Rice was a one man bandstand too. Yeah, he sure was. Yeah. And he'll tell you to this day, his first senior, his first game against me. And he'll be like, man, this game made me look at basketball different. He went to doubt me, you know, before the game, we talking, ha ah, ah. ha. Right. That game, first opening game, I bowed the shit out of his ass. <laughs> that nigga, matter of fact, this was my fact, his, my sophomore year, his freshman year. I bowed the shit out of his ass. 
He ain't understand that shit. Mm. After the game, I dapped him up. He was definitely confused. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll tell niggas like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, playing against Tyree, that just made me fearless. Like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I, ain't, I ain't give him no cut card. I ain't yeah. been nice to yeah. him. I ain't yeah. give him nothing. Yeah. They say y'all used to go at it, though. Man, it if it, classics. Especially classics. the one that the, the, I guess, the tournament championship. The district joint when district. I hit the game winner. The opening senior year, I had fifty one. Yeah, I remember that. That was just that just that just took the this yeah, took the city just like Evans fifty one, right. yeah. and they yeah. won. I had the paper for that. Yeah, he had thirty one at halftime. Yeah, he, he what he say? Call the fire department. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we, I'm watching that time, man. We gonna get I the, shot we, all all threes first half. Mm -hmm. Second half, I went to the rack. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After that, they ain't had much. Uh, yeah, um, they had some guys, Jordan and some other guys. But it's so funny. I'm walking. My dog, a UPS driver, was like Tyree Evans. I said, man, before Steph, it was you. <laughs> oh, duh. He was like, he was like, I'm gonna tell my kids you was Steph. I'm looking. Man, the way I'm you look. were shooting the ball and where they was from. He was like, bro, yeah. he was like, I ain't gonna lie. I thought that was you, but I ain't seen you in so long. I said, man, I gotta tell my kids, man, I seen Steph Curry. Steph. <laughs> wow. I got it on my phone, though. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, before Steph, it was, everybody say that. Mm -hmm. But I, don't, I, I just was looking at people double team me so much, I found other ways to, like, shit, they double team me right here, I'm gonna shoot that bitch 35 feet. <laughs> and, and you did. Yeah. And you did but, it, 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 in that game, talking about that Mari game I saw you. Yeah, going that senior year was definitely was like, it was fun for everybody, I think. Okay. Even the games we lost, I lost maybe like five, four games that year. I even lost to Huguenot. That was horrible. At Huguenot. Mm -hmm. They had the gym so hot, <clears throat> and like I said, they was they slowed the whole game up, fouls and all. Yeah. It was hot in there. We were slipping, falling. It's like they had it all prepared because when they came to Wilf, we beat them by f almost thirty. Right. And I had like forty five. <laughs> they didn't even play the third quarter. <laughs> and, wow. But my senior year, man, it was definitely a moment. It was a moment for everybody to like say who I was better than because I heard it all or I was like man he can go high school to NBA or he could do this or he could do that one game I saw you I felt like you could but yeah you we know. um going into a fast forward <clears throat> let's go to that that's we got 20 yeah. we got 19 minutes we fast forward we go to a great season mm -hmm. ups and downs a couple losses but going into the region People already knew it was either. We on opposite sides, Bird and yeah. Will. We're going to meet again. Right. Everybody knew that. Everybody right. knew it was Tyrese to Tyrese. Right. If you ain't know that, you delusional. Right. And then on the girl side, it was Monica. So, yeah. <coughs> With Jasmine. Jasmine Young. Yeah, she was. And her dad girl. was one, is one of my favorite referees. I told her. I said, her guy. daddy was something else, man. He was my guy. But. Going to Bird, opening game, I had 51. Then going to Bird, we win. Then district start, see them in the district championship. Mm -hmm. Man, good game, tight game. That was the one at Bird, right? At Bird. Yeah, that was. It hurt Tyree's heart. He don't want to send me that film, neither. <laughs> Y'all want that game? <laughs> no. Uh, look. Um, that was the buzzer beater, right? Buzzer beater. They go, they score, <laughs> they could get a steal or something. Something happened. They up one. Five seconds left. I grabbed that joint. Um, Mac tried to call a timeout. He didn't call a timeout. Mm -hmm. It was so going crazy. Mm -hmm. I asked for the, I got the ball. I drive. Then the left side of the floor. Look, no, I drive in the middle. Then I yeah, crossed it to the left. left. Mm -hmm. I could have took the two. Matter of fact, were they up two? It was up to. They was up to. They was up to. I could have took the two, but I stepped back for the three, 
and hit the three game win in the corner. Oh. Hurt him. But you, you, he double pumped. Double pumped. Because somebody played good defense. Like okay. two dudes. Over. Somebody was on him. Wow. And he <laughs> double pumped on a fall down and released it and fell in, you know. That, that would, that's, I'd that rather was, lose by 20. Yeah, them hurt. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather lose by 20, 30. Yeah. No, I, I can't take that. Yeah, yeah. So, going from that game and then y'all, the district, then y'all won the regionals, then y'all play Bird again, right? We play, we won the district, then we play Bird in the regionals. The regionals. Mm-hmm. And that same was, thing that happened. Was last, I think, this we up, with LeVar, we up, right? we up one. Yeah. I, I go to take the last shot. Everybody so three people on me. Right. So when I miss it, LeVar go and tip it in. Tip it in, yep. Gang. I saw that on the news. Yeah. I saw yep. that on the news. Yep. That hurt him. And again, so... We go that to I ain't even, I don't care what the game was. I don't even know if it was your first game. Man. Let's talk about this Potomac game. Potomac. <laughs> Let's was, talk about this. It was and I blame myself because I always played off of like instinct. Mm-hmm. I was trying to be cold. Max said, no, slow it down. But then once they didn't, once they ran up, I went. Right. <clears throat> Instead of just getting fouled, okay, I went. But when I went, I'm thinking, Shh, it's just an easy layup. Man came out of nowhere, blocked it. I feel like for real, I jumped so high, I'm already the ball in my hand already on the back. It's okay. So this is this is okay. So this is. I feel so, like he goaltended, but I feel like I should have right, just so done. We because we, we go we got we got to we got to put the drive, but we go we go we go make sure we have something on there. So okay, all right. Everybody talk about okay. You were sixteen or sixteen. Like okay, look at the percentages. I think he won't shoot. And, he have a good shooting game that game. Oh, I think. right. Um, but but on. you had sixteen. But you had. He went to the free throw time. Yeah, I think he had 30. You had thir- yeah. you ended with 39. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you had like 30 something in the second half, something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. And you were 16 or <clears throat> 16 from the free throw. Line. I remember like yes. Yeah, yeah. So the play you're talking about where they said that y'all was up. We was up one. One with like 30 some seconds left or whatever. Seconds. And they said all since you were 16 for 16, I wasn't at the game, but I, I watched it on they DVD. They won't foul me. So right. I went. Right, so but, they say they said they said now. I'm gonna tell you what the guy said to Jim. They said it was you in the stands telling them to go. No, no, it was me. That, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you again. This is I was I saying slow down. Right, because I'm like you holding the ball. Because I said they foul him. Kim missed the free throw the whole game. The game over with. So they was like, well, I said what well, Tyree said that. I think, it, I think we talked about I think he said Mac, Mac told you to go or something like that. It was, he told me to slow down, but I went. Okay, but you went, right? Whatever it was, he told you and you did the opposite. Yeah. And, like, I see the dude slip. The dude slipped on the ground in yep. the free throw line. He yep. fell backwards and he got up and I was like, okay, you got him beat. And he gets back up and he catches it on the board. Man. Now, to this day, it is debatable. Go ten to me, but they called it clean, right? Call it clean. Call it clean. They called it clean, and I was like, "Ooh, you know, it's like one of them." It, it, it was. It could have went, but my my thing is my that issue, was flagler that caught it. My my issue, like I always tell him, and like he, when he was like, <sighs> saying two points or two points, right? My used to always tell him, "Man, you go to hold, man. Don't you the ball." In that instance, he, he man, should two points, two points, man. But and that, that's not that, what he been right. Yeah. And and that time they go back where you like man if I would if you would have dunked it he would have got he definitely would have got, got fouled. fouled right and that then that would have been it mm-hmm. because again the Woodside coach said that they were worried about more of Potomac than whiff Coach Richardson though <laughs> he didn't want to face it. he he just probably forgot was caught in the in forgot. the moment got in the moment because that's who they played against they, they, right they played against Woodside with Welsh and but Baker and all the boys. He he, as he remember, he came to us to scrimmage against us because he knew we was the best team. And I state. told people that I said Tyree <laughs> told me that. Now you told me, and we go back. This I remember this was like 2013 when I when we were talking down Bell Me. You said that if y'all would have played Woodside, you felt like you would y'all would have beat them because I knew them. 
Okay. We all I I used to basically Coach Richardson used to bring them down for me to talk to and be um Steph Big Brother. Mm-hmm. Me and Calvin Baker we talk on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So he had posted some about you know his records and whatever. I'm like. Oh, that must be seven five, cause I ain't in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "You right." He was like, "You right." Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he I'm said, like, "Cause you would have definitely been in." <clears throat> yeah, cause I was like, "Cause when these guys had this top, these guys did this. this these guys, um, Kirk and Bird, they had this show, and they was naming all the top players in Virginia, and they said if we forgot anybody names, but I was like, "How the world y'all forget Tyree? He broke Allen Iverson's record, man. Mm-hmm. People, people, why y'all don't talk about that? People forget because." It wasn't social media. Right. And but, people, 7 5 going to forget because they just want to forget about it. They want to forget about it. Right. <laughs> but they show talked about it when Mac McClung did it. Yeah. Right. Well, with social media. Right. Yeah. But yeah, you broke AI's record. He wasn't record. from 7 5. He was from where it don't matter. But it don't matter. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but that was with Northern Gate, Virginia. Yeah. Some, well, I don't know what it Gate no, City. It, well, no, it was, yeah. That, 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 down in the sticks, man. Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gate City, he had the whole faithful, yeah, you know. Yeah. They, yeah. He's better than the AI. Pump your brakes. But yeah, yeah. But me and Reese was like David and Goliath. Yeah, bro. man. Y'all was, used to battle the class some, of battles. I remember people be like, man, I don't even go to high school games no more after y'all. <laughs> yeah, right. It was a major drop off. Because it was a drop off after that. It was a major that, drop off. Man, I would see, for me, I judge everybody. I said, nope. 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 <laughs> nope. I don't even want to go to no games no yeah, more because Tyree, I'm going to everybody to be Rice or him. Yeah, yeah. And if you want either you one of them. to bring a crowd. I'm like, can you pack nah, the gym? Can you right. pack the gym? And the next time that happened was mm-hmm. 07 mm-hmm. when Brandon them came in with him. Um, Jamar Abrams and mm. J3. Yeah, yeah. You know, nice so, walk, right. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, Tyree, I, I'm sorry. I'm I, I measuring. Maybe my, my, my standard's too high. Yeah. And, and y'all, oh, you're right. And that's how I felt. <laughs> you know but I'm like, this man broke AI record, man. Yes, I'm going to keep saying that on here because I'm throwing shade at the 7.5. Like, y'all keep forgetting that this dude at 2,000, some odd, whatever his points was that year, he, he broke it. Mm-hmm. He broke it. This man sitting right here. And I, like I tell people, I ain't played the first semester, my my senior, my freshman year. So what his points really would have ended up at, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, man, I, I for me, I wish I could have saw that because what, Woodside won back to back. Um, they that next year when Rice was his senior year, and they went back and they beat them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Which, you know, but I always we always talk about what would have been like if you played against Stefan and and and, and Calvin Baker and them. It would have, it would have, it was, I think, like, even in the scrimmages. Man, shout out to those guys, man. Them my guys, them, 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 them the bros, they know it would have been. Because he said, yeah, man, you know, that was, dude was, that was doing the podcast. Yeah, man, you know, yeah, they talking about Tyrese Rice. I said, y'all keep forgetting about Ree Evans. Mm-hmm. Why y'all keep going to Rice? Y'all keep saying Rice, because that's what everybody see. Mm-hmm. And I'm like. How do y'all keep forgetting <clears throat> that? I think the, the forgiveful part come in because the stuff that he went through right. during his college stuff, right? You have a, a, a which you, you would quote unquote a successful mm-hmm. what people consider a successful college. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Post post high school, so right. that, that would a forgetful part because people always just get caught up in that moment. On that moment, what he went through, even even um. <clears throat> I gotta find it. It was like in the Virginia Tech little. It was like a chat thing. Mm-hmm. I seen it maybe. Like when I was going through a whole bunch of, even from the prep school thing. I get to that, but. Oh, he a thug. Oh, he was accused for murder two times, and he was being questioned for murder this and that. And he's a thug. He's mm-hmm. that. He's this. He that. He that. All that stuff. Oh, he got picked up at the Seeker Center in handcuffs. So mm-hmm. he got picked up at his high school another mm-hmm. time in handcuffs for murders for this and that so i was already labeled as a whole mm-hmm. well yeah i seen it because mm-hmm. i told you i got the books at home and i wish i could have brought it i got when ai went through his thing i got all of that in a red book mm-hmm. at home mm-hmm. i got yours the same way because they was talking about man all the things that you went through, and I'm at work. I said, man, I don't care. This dude gonna make it. He just built different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. for me, and I was just like, and it, and like you said, Weezy, it was dropped off, man. 
you know, after you 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 won't hear no more. It's like you had Rice 05, but it won't the same because there was nobody that really that was good as him yeah. during right. that time. He was just like <laughs> he dominated but, everything. Yeah, dominated after everybody. That. Well, you gotta think about it. <laughs> You know. Big brother, little brother. By the time little brother got to his yeah. senior, yeah, yeah. Easy. right, right, yeah, right. He made it easy. Deal with me, right. It was like Tyree, like <laughs> Evans had it, and then it was like, okay, now it's your show. It's him. Well, you got to think it about it. Reese played under me for Team Richmond, so we scrimmaged against them. When they coached one of them to get better, they mm. played against us. So he always played against me. Mm-hmm. He always played against me. He always, you know, what I mean, he always had an opportunity to understand like ales. If mm-hmm. you ain't first, you last. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He understood all that. He understood, like, he even, he might not even be the type of player that I play, but he know, like, shit, if I can go through Tyree shit, nigga, that shit you trying to do, that shit ain't going to bother me. I'm about to give you 30. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's easy. So I'm going to ask you these last two questions. I'm going to actually go do this in se- seven minutes. Okay. Two questions. How do you feel about Rice now? Like, I know you got a lot of different players, we, you know, you talk about, but, you know, how you feel about him now in the day? How like, I feel about back, him, Like, as yeah. Man, that's my brother. He, like, we talked the other day about just mental health. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just about growing as, look where we came from. Mm-hmm. He came from a different environment than me, but he see me like, man, you done been through so much shit. on it. far as mental health, you might be the strongest person I know. Mm-hmm. You done went through everybody bringing you down. Right. Or everybody lifting you up, then bringing you down. Mm-hmm. Then back to lifting you up. Then want to still bring you down. Mm-hmm. So, and I was just like, bro, I was already down because right. in my mind, where I came up from, I ain't had nothing. Mm-hmm. So, what people talk about, it ain't really bother me. But Reese Rice, man, he he definitely one of the best, one of my favorite players ever mm-hmm. because I know him personally. And I know what we went through as battling as yeah. as friends and as <clears throat> as my my op. Right. <laughs> right. Right. And he know he had to earn his respect with me. Mm-hmm. And he he might not never beat me. He ain't never beat me in the game. He never beat me. Right. He never did. But yeah. That made him when his senior year, senior year was who yeah. it was. I mean, because that game against, <laughs> was it his senior year when they played against KD? Yeah. 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 And, and to my, C, <clears throat> CT was saying today, he was like, he said, they say he said to Coach Smith from Oak Hill, was like, you better get somebody to check me, man. You know, because he had like 28 the first half. Yeah, yeah. And then they put KD on him. <laughs> That left, that yeah, left, yeah, man. Yeah, he can't it, know about that. That second yeah. half, I think he's going at four points. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. But well, I never, but that's why for me, when people say, like Frank Mason or Re Rice, like complete from high school mm-hmm. or whatever, we know that Re was Tyrese Rice was one of the best scores that I ever mean, came he out. The best state. player in, if you want to give credit when credit due, he the best player in Richmond. If you right. Talk about credentials and yeah, absolutely. Stats and yes. Crazy one and he's a winner. He's a winner. Winner. Like yes. you can't leave. It's because you gotta. People just can't win. Right. You got to learn how to win. win. It gotta and be, he it gotta he be went in through you it. And right. On you. Yeah. Right. And you can see, he's <clears> just, just like sustained and longevity, man. It's like you got to give it up to him. And I think that we kind of leave him out of these conversations. Mm-hmm. People know how great of a scorer he was. But like you say, when you look at his career, he's not a leader yeah. team. That's the, right. That's the thing. He's a right. leader of leaders. Right. Yeah. And I think we get left off of that. Mm-hmm. So, but my last question is. <clears throat> and and it'll probably throw you out. What do you feel about this man right here, man? What I feel Weez. about it, yeah, oh, Weez, man. That's my brother. That's I, that's like my one of my number one. He believed in me more than anybody I know. One of my number one supporters, my brother. I like. I can't forget him. He like. How can I put? If I want to describe Weez, I say he. He like. Mean much as Phil Jackson, mean the Jordan type shit. That that's I, no matter what right. I did. That's deep, man. You ain't that good, or you still ain't. I had thirty, but you ain't. I could. I had to prove something to him every time. Yeah. Oh, I got forty though. And Weezy probably said, "Hey, <laughs> that ain't nothing." You know what I'm saying? Weezy, 
<laughs> he probably what I've never I've, I've known Weezy. How we long we know each other now? Since like probably my son was ninth grade, mm -hmm. and I've never known anybody to ever say anything bad about Weezy. Right. Never. You can't. One of the realest dudes that I know in this city. Right. You know what I'm saying? And for me, and I just like I said, I always thank him, man. I feel like how Kello thank Ty White. I always want to thank Weezy because I felt like that for a lot of people that I didn't know. And you know, trying to help my son and everything like that, man. When Weezy said what he was, he's like, man, your son can't shoot, but he can work on this. I'm gonna take him to Tyree and all this stuff like this. You, you, I was going through a lot of stuff then, and I appreciate everything that you did, man. That's why I've all when I see Weezy, I, I go off, man. I be like, man, Weezy, Weezy, Weezy. You know what I'm saying? Like how it's about you and basketball. Yeah. And that's why I said to hear you say that about him, man. That's good. And I, every time I see you, I, I was like, man. Weezy like that one like Tyree ain't gonna never you ain't gonna never see one without the other right and and I love that bond y'all got man because to me I wish more people can have that you don't see right. that nowadays right and I, I just want to say man you know y'all keep that stuff going with it going man Weezy thank you man yeah you made this happen today and if it will not for you man Tyree probably wasn't that guy because I wouldn't know how to really get in touch with him mm -hmm. but we started we did we we have we, I seen you and yeah. Yeah, see yeah. You shouted you out, talked to you. And I was like, man, I see you got that on, um, what's the name? The podcast, the podcast, yeah. Podcast. And I was going to do that. But you know, like I said, you know, our relationship started mm -hmm. off kind of yeah. rocky. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But he always helped me understood what type of person I kind of already had in my head. Yeah. But he he confirmed what I already believed. Okay. And I and I appreciate that because then I'd be like, well, damn, you know, time kind of, you know. But I don't think he liked that, but I can't, it's but just, you was more guarded, man. You know what so I'm saying? Guarded, you don't really deal man. with people like, like that and what you've been through. And then when I did get comfortable, I was, I'm I'm like, I'm, for real, I'm like him for real. I right. give nigga anything I got yeah, for Yeah, and, and you hear that and people, and now everybody say, now, man, Tyree this, Tyree that, man. And it ain't that perception that you had before. Right. Where people thought that it was, man, he unapproachable. He can't do this. Now it's completely different. So, you know, and, I, and I'm and i saying that not because you hear, just when I hear that now. Right. But, you know, people still kind of jelly because you still got it. I see you never maturely. And, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all winning and stuff like that. And we just said that y'all should have won that if you had been there. But that's a whole different subject, you know. Yeah. Well, but, yeah, man. <clears throat> There's um, a couple things we forgot out. But, but no, we're going to definitely do a part two, man, because, again, I knew this thing was going to run right at two hours because mm -hmm. I know why we had to, you know, get out yeah. of here because we don't have enough tape on this thing. Um, but part two is coming. Part two, yeah. We definitely gonna do that. About the trials and arrows, man. The trial and arrows, we yeah. got that. You, there aren't too many great people who have like, a part two. A lot of kids need to, you know what I mean? You got a story to tell, man. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. You got a story to tell. Y'all got to come back and we gonna set that up. Maybe you know, we can do reasons. a Netflix, man, to get KD to got send it to Netflix. We might can do a real podcast. I get a couple NBA guys, for real. We make it man. big. We could do something like that. Great, Rudy man. Gay, all them guys that know me. I know they see me, they be like, man, oh, you. I'm all for that. You doing good, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm all for that. Yeah, so. So we're we going to make that happen. Because so. I've been, I want to want to do something like that, though, like a Netflix type of joint. Let's get it like, done. Because I, I can get Huggins, I can get my car, I can get a lot of people recruiting me that was looking at me. Uh, and doing Danny Manning, thing. he was another guy, recruited me in Juco. Um, whole bunch of people, man. We, well, we're going to get that done, man. We got one minute. Anybody, um, quick shout out, man. Thank y'all for watching today, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment, man. Um, this is another classic, man. I thank y'all for coming in, man. Yes, sir. And, I, you know, we had to cut this thing short, man. I could go on for hours and no, hours. No, we man. cool. We cool. No, for real. <laughs> he told me, he said, you going to get this under two hours? I said, I promise. But I knew they was going to stretch it. Mm -hmm. So thanks for everybody, you know, for, for supporting the podcast, man. Keep, you know, buying that merch and doing all that stuff. And we out. <laughs>